Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing this wonderful adventure of ours here in the world of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Hmm. I'll do a thing. And I decided to put the Sneasel into the team because I didn't think it would be nice. I also got some moves for some off screen, but for this, it's very important. I didn't have to really do that much grinding for him or her. This Magikarp. Just a few of the little blocks. I use some small ones, but after we evolve it, we're gonna start. We're gonna give it all of the medium ones. That way, we can just boost it up a bit. But let's see, Magikarp become. Oh, it can evolve right now. Ah, oh, because it's out. Ah, uh, that's why I figured. I wanted to test that. What happens when a Pokemon evolves when it's out? The answer is it can. Oh, oh, hey, your Pokemon evolved. Speaking of evolution. Huh, interesting. And also interesting that they can't evolve while out, maybe because you might have them in a weird place and then they'd clip and they want to avoid that. Understandable. But let's go ahead and evolve my Magikarp into a wonderful being of magical wonder. I also tried to capture a Gy the Gyarados that was flying around a bit, but I don't think it's possible. Utterly magnificent. And now, for being a good Pokemon, here you can have these. Just all of them. And now let's see... If Gyarados can learn any moves. Oh yeah, and I also move things about. Here is my important Pokemon box. Has some shinies, has my named Pokemon and Pokemon that interest me, and uh, the diddly D alpha Pokemon that also interest me. Oh yeah, I forgot, blah. I forgot for a moment, that wasn't the pasture box. This was the move box. Jesus Christ, you have you have lots of moves and I don't have a lot of money. You can learn freaking flamethrower? That's hilarious. Oh yeah, and hyper beam. It's only 5 PP, and that's terrifying. See, just a lot of hard-hitting moves are now available. Maybe my Gyarados should... Well, I was gonna say, maybe my Gyarados should become my normal type, but then I realized it's water flying, so some Pokemon would annihilate it, even though it can learn frickin' Thunderbolt! <laughs> but yeah, I also looked at, like, my Alpha Lop Honey. Also, can learn just an absolute fuck-ton of moves. And that'll do it for now. Let's see. Gyarados. Yeah, you're not that big. But still, pretty good. At least it didn't try to eat me. And, oh yeah, I, I forgot. I, I saw you, but I kind of didn't really see you. Like, I saw you while I was wandering around doing things. But let's see what you actually have to say. Hey, how do you get a Pokemon to be a friend? You beat them up. Can I interest you in a candy? Here at the candy stand, you can purchase experience candies to raise your Pokemon's experience. Even though it seems really overpriced. Oh yeah, and because uh, you might have saw that, I released some of my uh, Pokemon that were like my Abelian Buzels and Cricketots and such. They give you grit powder and dust and stuff as they leave. Is this like... <laughs> a guy came up and was like, Hey, your Pokemon gave this for you. It's like, aww. I almost feel bad for... Leaving them. Also, I discovered another thing. It's not gonna be here, probably. But... A few times... Uh, I might have to go there just for the satchel. But I went here... Uh, went out to just, like, you know, look for Eevees and just do things. And on this island, there was an outbreak? Like, uh, an outbreak of those, uh, I forget what they're called. The little pink monstrosities that blasted me with water. And then I went back there again and, uh, hit me, uh, and it was like, oh, yeah, and there's a... 
outbreak of Luxio. And it's just like, I don't need that. It's like, I wonder what that even is. An outbreak of Luxio. Isn't that just what this area is? An entirety of Luxio. And I also completed the balloon race because it wasn't that much of a thing. I, f I honestly forget what I got there. Oh yeah, I got a nugget. I can sell my nugget. I completely forgot because I don't think I sold my nugget. Woot woot. The two great money sinks of this game so far. Move Tutor and... Let's see. I thought I still had it or did it go in here? I could have sworn I didn't sell my nugget. I guess I sold my nugget. Heh. My brain is collapsing. Uh, da -da -da. Could have sworn. Could have sworn. And I guess I'll grab... Well, let's see. Who deserves it? Guess I'll increase the power of my monster lop honey just a little bit. And increase the power of my beloved Gyarados. You need special defense, my poor dude. And grit gravel. Once again, special defense. And special attack. And while we're here, health. My boy deserves it the most! Because he is my boy. I am not... Yeah, my boy. Alright. We're gonna quickly go get the satchel. Because I don't think there's much else to do there. Because from every way I looked at it, it doesn't seem possible to get to the Growlithe atop the... diddly -dee. The Growlithe atop the waterfall. Let's see how it knocks it out. <laughs> I love that animation. Just go gather up some items while we go to get the satchel on the mountain. Also, apparently, I uh, heard a thing that... It seems that... Oh, yeah, I was going to do that. I was going to see if there was an update for the game before I continued. I mean, I guess I could quickly check it if I really wanted to. Because apparently, there is a glitch that makes Chirum impossible to catch. You know that Pokemon that I've yet to find in this diddly dang game? Because apparently they might be in trees, for one. So that could be why I haven't found them yet. Because they don't really look at trees at the probably the right time. Uh, apparently, they are incapable of being caught. And at first I thought, well, that's not a big deal. You just complete it by doing uh, smacking them up a lot and seeing them use moves. And that's when I realized with a uh, another Pokemon, my uh, Haunter. I went and caught a Haunter because you can't... Okay, I did that again. It hit the midair. It hit my returning Gyarados. But yeah. You can't complete a Pokedex page, even if you've done a lot of work on that Pokemon, unless you've caught it. And I did not know that, initially. I like that there's different animations. Yeah, but now that we're out here... Let's see. Is this way. But so far, we're really loving this game. Oh, no, I guess while we're here, we can go out of go after that Staravia, Staraviary. Diddly D Alpha. Get up there, eh. Who needs to actually play the game when you can just <laughs> be a weird deer and jump up. Question. AI, how did you die up here? Yeah, that's another thing. Apparently, if you don't have online no satchel recovery for you. 
which I think is a, a little mean. It's such a passive thing. I, un I kind of get not being able to trade over the internet without it, but not being able to grab satchels for other people and not have your satchels grabbed by other people. Bit mean. As per usual, we're going to try and... Okay. You're level 32, so you shouldn't be terrible. I want to try and stealth cap you. If not... Build of wild might, are you? Ah, well, it's still a false swipe. Ice shot! Ah, that works. Critical hit. You're so are caught unawares. Have an ultra ball to the face, you fool! I saw a clip of that Staravia. Absolutely annihilate uh, Rabid Luigi's Luxio. Which kind of makes me feel bad that I'm not experiencing a lot of these uh, fights. But at, on the one hand, I don't want to uh, kill them. I want to capture them. As well, if the, if the game wants me to suffer, the game will want me to suffer. I am a victim of being too good at this game. Hey, and I got a large. Or, uh, or at least a medium. Oh. Run away! Run away! Uh, well, I guess we'll annihilate this good, uh, this fool and head back. Go somewhere else. We'll beat you up with my giant dude. I forget, I, I, have, I didn't look at your move pool, my dude. Crunch. So, first things first, looking at your current move pool. Well, hey, that's an upgrade. Let's look at the moves you already have. <laughs> Twister. Ooh, dragon type. So, if we run in versus crunch. 80-10, 60-20. And, uh, sure. Let's go ahead and make it back. Then we'll go to the Mirelands and finish one thing and do another. Because I think we need to do the Rosalia. Rosalia. It's an alpha Pokemon. At least I got a thousand for an alpha Pokemon. Neat that it technically counts as caught using a backstripe because you... Or backstrike. Because you went and, bought a, went and beat it up quite a bit. I would like to return to the village. Wish it could be like, I want to go to this outpost, but I kind of understand why they don't let you. Still love this loading screen. Alright. Doot, doot. Doot, doot, doot. Ah, we got a fi Firestone. Wonderful. Need to make more potions and revives and stuff. And balls in general. I'll, oh, yeah, see, that's what I mean. That's the uh, outbreak. Mass outbreak of a Pokemon I don't really care about. There are missions here. Oh, and there's actually requests here, too. So first things first, it should be completed. Yo, lady. Oh, it seems you've learned a thing or two about Rosalia. That didn't take as long as I expected. Let's have a look then. What? Rosalia's poisonous, but it looks so fragile and innocent. I, I can't believe it. Well, in any case, I was able to learn a lot about Rosalia thanks to you. Please accept these little awards as great <laughs> as from a grateful Rosalia fan. And then this dude probably wants to fight, so I guess I'll beat him up with Rhyhorn, battling with his Pachirisu. 
Captain Zisu has sent me to all sorts of training, but I don't feel like I'm really improving at all. So I came here to train with my partner, Pachirisu. But I simply can't seem to figure out any, any winning strategy to use of Pachirisu. <laughs> and meanwhile, there's the Pachirisu just vibing. I've heard tales about you, though, and your strength in battle. Could I ask you to show me how a Pokemon like Pachirisu can truly shine in, shine in battle? How so? You want me to destroy you? I want to see you battle with a single Pachirisu. No more, no other Pokemon. Ah, I did not know that. Remove all the Pokemon for your party. Okay. Guess I'm going to have to power level Pachirisu. I guess we'll return to the village. Grab a Pachirisu. See what level they... I guess I could just grab my the, the Alpha Pachirisu. And just cheese it. Oh, great! <laughs> Research Corps Trainer. Survey Corps. Uh, have I gotten enough spirits? I found a few. Nope, I need one more. Yep, you find one more. You'll get a reward. Alright, let's go to Pasture 7. Have to leave all my Pokemon here. Because he's just like, I want you to see Yage. Hey, bear, one Pokemon only. Bear. Child. I have a Mega Pachirisu. No, not Mega. Super Omega Crunch, baby. Well, let's see what moves you have, you utter abomination. Ah, uh, decent, decent. Decent selection. Got Crunch in there. Well, I guess let's go use my Alpha Pachirisu to just teach that guy a lesson. I want you to use only one Pachirisu. Fine, I'll use my biggest, baddest Pachirisu as punishment for you not letting me use my team. How did you win? I caught an Alpha Pachirisu. Ready to show me what Pachirisu can do? Let's see it battle against a mighty Ursaring! Okay. I hope this doesn't go badly. Use Agile Baby Doll Eyes. Lower its stats. Yeah, that's a, a painful one. Now, Thunderbolt! And since we go twice... Mighty Thunderbolt! I think that's the first time we've beaten that Ursaring. Jerk. Astonishing! That really was amazing! You defeated an Ursaring with a Pachirisu! And your Pachirisu was so pumped up and eager for battle! It looked like it was fearless! You directed Pachirisu with such a plum in battle, it was clear how well you understood it. I guess all the work you Survey Corps members put into learning about Pokémon does pay off. But we won't be outdone. We'll work hard to reach the same level of understanding. Adorable. That's probably why they put an Alpha Pachirisu in this goddamn place. In, like, the one place there's Pachirisu in this area. Literally. Just let me get out of here and head back home so I can get my Pokemon. Honestly, I feel you could have accomplished that. Just be like, hey, have a Pachirisu in your team. And then for this battle, you can only use Pachirisu. I don't see the point of having to put away all my Pokemon. But hey, at least we got rid of that. Go ahead, put you in here since you're an alpha Pokemon. And, hmm. I mean, you can learn Flamethrower. 
Is there any Pokemon? Yeah, it's probably not a good idea to give you the flamethrower since everything that we'd want to use flamethrower on would annihilate you. I really want to make a team of some of these other Pokemon. <laughs> huh, maybe that's what I should do. Have maybe a team for each area. And then like my main team that progresses with me. Go ahead and use my Grit Gravel. Once again on the boy. Upgrade your speed. And go ahead and put things away so that things are nice and clean. We'll be calmed if it eats one of these. I'll put that away for now. Well, uh, let's head back to the Mirelands now for my full team because we still have that one other... Diddly D, that one other request that appeared here that we need to grab. All the way down here. And a bunch of satchels. I can't get to. <laughs> While we're on our way, we'll just grab some plants. Maybe we could see about that uh, Alpha Tangla, Tangler, giant Pokemon. See if we can go ahead and grab it while we're here. It's, I forget. I forget what typing this monstrosity is. I could probably see maybe Sneasel doing decent with it, but it all depends on the level. Level 45, and it is a grass type, so Infernape will probably be best. Well, let's try it the nice way. Ultra Ball at the ready. Catching without combat is preferable. Catching with combat is inevitable. It's grass, but it probably knows some water moves as well. Poison jab it. Alright. Agile style flame wheel. Hope to gain some speed advantage. And to hopefully. Oh, well, that's not good at all. Yeah, that's what I figured. Luckily, it only used sleep powder. Hmm. All things considered, I think I'm going to throw another Ultra Ball. Because slowly but surely going to be weakened by its poison, and I don't want to contribute to its death. And luckily I caught it. Huzzah! Tangrowth has been caught. Alpha at that. And we just need to make our way to the Sludge Mound. Ah, eh, you're completed. I don't need to do you. Get to the slush mound. See about Pokemon. Do we have any Yanma? Do we need to do you? Yeah, we have to do you pretty decently. With rock type moves. And catch without being spotted. Hmm. I think I'll try and defeat you with the rock type move. And then try to catch others. Ah. It decided it wanted to be hit in the head. 
screwed. Rock slide. you if I've been spotted. Is there a feed? Mm, nope. About the same time. Shelly, I'm interested in nice, delicious food. How dare you not eat my nice, delicious food. Bloody crow gun. Defeat with psychic type moves. Alright. I got a psychic type move for you. Psycho cutter to your face, you ugly crow gun bastard. Psycho cut him to pieces. This is my last request of that crow gun to die. And that means that Crow Gunk will be uh, finished off and we don't need to deal with it anymore. Since we're here, why not? Hello, Abomination. Aura Sphere, break it to pieces. I love the look of the Distitui and three others. Nice. Hmm, you. How many do we need? Defeat of grass type moves. I'll beat you up. Hopefully I don't have to beat up anybody else. There is a Geodude that wants to fight and die. Leaf Blade. Now we have to defeat this jerk. I wonder why it's <laughs> typing. Typing. I guess it lost its flying type when it became grass lightning. I suppose. And four others. I want to fight you. Just want to open that up. Nope. Get out of here. Let's see. And two. Um. Da -da. Ah, we'll just beat you up. And we can write you off. Animal cruelty for the sake of science. Granted, that is probably all that science is in this. <laughs> Utwa. Alright. Should be. Either on the other side of this. But I want the items. Oh well, fine. <laughs> My hope for Skyrim. What do we need to go up there? Ah, uh, we need to go to the base camp, not up there, to the base camp. But the item! The lovely, lovely item. Oh, ah, you, looks like it's another Ursaluna mission. Say, you there, could you lend me a hand? I was on my way here from the Mylands camp when this Alpha Hippodon came after me. I got away, but I dropped a charm I was carrying. And now I can't find it anywhere. I've just got to have it back. If you find a charm lying in a swamp, could you bring it back to me? Alrighty then. Well, this is nearby. I doubt it would be here, but hey, it's nearby, and a lot of iron chunks. Woot. Just have to look, hopefully not run into the Hippodon monsters. Ah, well, the, 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 the Alpha motherfucker is here now. What a glorious day.
There we go. Ah. Big. Ball of mud. Truly the greatest discovery. You found, you found mud in a, in a mire. Good for you. Hopefully I don't have to fight the Hippodome. Granted, I don't even see it anymore. Ah, there you are. Oh, it's in the swamp right here. Shit. What? Great, now I have to fight you. How very rude. And I probably have a low level. Oh no, this might work. Actually, might not work. Use water pulse. Ah, good. Did lots of damage. Oh, what? How'd you... How'd you go twice in a row, you... Blood, blood. I mean, I guess I could try and capture you. You're not an alpha, and I was de prepared to deal with the alpha. Might as well try and capture you. Sure. That works for me. Level ups for everyone! You sure are something taking on a big angry hippo down like that. Wait, what's that line over there? The thing that I looked for. M my charm, it's really you. Welcome back. It means a lot to me that you went toe to toe with the hippo down on my behalf. You'd better believe I won't be losing this charm again. Not after you, what you went through to get, uh, after all that. My brain is just like, these are a bunch of words that I've heard before. Surely I can predict them. And then I didn't. Not after you went th to all the trouble to get it back to me. Woot woot. Iron trunks and grit gravel. Now we have to get away from the giant abomination. Ah. And the Alpha even teleported. Uh, the newfangled power of these Alphas. Everywhere. Mister. Alright, anything else? Does not appear to be so. And I don't think that there are any... I'll save the... I mean... Yeah, that's over there, so I can't really do that much. I'll wait till I can get a... A swimmy! A swimmy Pokemon. Let's see. Gotta level up Gyarados. Make Gyarados a monster. Special defense. And special attack. Definitely for my boy. Mm, special defense. Oh, and we need to actually put some away, like you. All of you. Away, away. Sure, I will present my findings. I caught one alpha Pokemon. Man, leveling up gets me so much more money. Finished Graveler, Hepatas. Learned some things about some other Pokemon. Woot woot. And now we will head back to camp. Well, village. And then we're gonna head to the new land. I want to fly. I want to fish. Well, gr that's probably what it's going to be. It's probably going to be I get the fish one first. And then... Well, it's only breaking out here, probably because they're like, Oh, you have a lot of experience. Well, time to move on to here. 
Lots of satchels, a request, two requests. Woot woot. Here we go, to the beachside camp. So let's see what this new area is like. Ah. So beautiful. Oh, hey, the twin horns. There, an unknown should be over there. Cobalt Coast. Ah, the Cobalt Coastlands. A simply lovely corner of Hisui. Sea and sky as far as the eye can see. What kinds of Pokemon await us here, I wonder? Water types or flying types, perhaps? Ooh, I simply can't wait to study them all. I, now, I'm sure you're just as excited as I am to research the series Pokemon, but let's not forget that you've got a mission to accomplish. So, any questions before you get started? Hmm, how about Fire Pit Island? Probably a bunch of fire types there. Mm, indeed, Fire oh, fire Spit. Fire Spit Island is an offshore volcano. You'll need to cross the sea to reach it. I'd advise you speak to a fellow, uh, uh the fellow Iskan. He's one of the Diamond Clan's wardens and will surely help you find your way. Hello, my dude. Why are you here? You know Glammeow, one of those skittish Pokemon that runs away from humans real quick? If you want to catch Pokemon like that, smoke bombs and stealth sprays are your friends. They'll help you hide from the keen eyes and ears of even the scariest wild Pokemon. I think I have a few stealth sprays. Hey, Irida. How you doing? Please don't fight me again. Ah, you're gonna bring forth a, f a Pokemon. That's a new tune. Now I just kind of wish that Lugia would appear and we'd play the Lugia song. Do, 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 do. I do love the flute. It feels as if its tones carry to the very ends of space. But I'm here, and so are you. So now I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. I'm game. Very good. You, ha you who have seen the vast space beyond the rift, here I come. I don't think I've even fought Amadon. Yeah, this is a poor matchup. And an Eevee. Uh, cheats. Crunch the Glaceon. You're very rude, Eevee. You will be crushed in due time. Once again, crunch to the Glaceon. Ah, critical hit. Nice. Very rude to double team like that. Grass against... Send out Infernape. We should do decent. Well, first we're gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and annihilate the Glacian. Then we'll revive Gyarados so that Gyarados can get some experience. Be all cutesy as you like. My Infernape will annihilate you. Burn away the Eevee! How dare you double team? I don't get the double team. Which is a little silly. I deserve the double team. Huh, now I feel better. 
The world is vast and I'm small within it. Thank you. Allow me to heal your Pokemon. I mainly did the revive so that Gyarados could get experience from the battle. Alright, with you, I think with you I can be frank. I can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan's leader or your commander, but in truth... I sometimes wonder how I've ended up with the burdens I bear. You see, we have a warden in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Paulina. But she tends to no lord or lady, and she will not raise a successor to fill the late lord's empty seat either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all. But Lena, that is to say Paulina, she's very dear to me, no matter what anyone might say. We were both in the running to become leader of the Pearl Clan. We strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal, too. Having said all this, I have a favor to ask of you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into a true heir to his father, the late Lord. With the help of your strength, I think our late Lord's heir will, would grow into a worthy successor, and if he succeeds, it would silence Lena's naysayers. I don't know if anyone I'd trust more to help with this than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Cleaver's frenzy. You'll be able to find Lena up on the headland. Head down this hill and turn left. You should find a slope leading onto the ridge. Alright, that's kind of interesting. Uh, another Murkrow. Hmm. Are you completed? Nope. What do I need to do with you? Defeat of rock type moves. And what level are you? Level 30. I missed. Turning around is a bit of a, a bit hard. Fool, you're already at max health. Now, rock slide. Bye bye, Murkrow. And one other, so now we should be at a decent level. I want... Need that spirit? More spirits for me. 19 wisps, so it seems to be... 20 wisps per area, except for, like, village. Oh, hey. Speaking of spirits. I really should make more... Stealth spray. <laughs> Try and catch you. Good work. Bunch of Glamia. Hmm. So it's mostly give food and catch without being spotted than anything. I don't think we've ever beaten any of these. Bad use charge beam, I guess. Friggin' lightsaber the poor thing. Yes, we can 
trying to beat you. Since we caught a few. Oh, you're gonna annihilate them unless you run away. Let's see what's in this one. Ah, just a Gravla. Oh, freaking high level Gravla. Use a water pulse. It's probably gonna try and annihilate you. Or you could just annihilate it with a critical hit. Good job, Gyarados. What the? That's a new Pokemon. Dang it. I mixed up my things again. My brain went too fast, too furious. I guess he was, he's probably gonna annihilate you. We can try and catch it. Okay, that was an impressive move, but it didn't do much. Yay. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. Okay. Oh, he gets two turns. Cheater. I'm gonna use an Ultra Ball just to in the win, wing on a prayer. Woot woot. Thank you for volunteering your heart and soul to almost dying a lot, Gyarados. And that looks like it's probably a giant Mothum. Which means it's probably a normal Motham, and I'm stupid. That's a Perugly. Sure, I'll catch a Perugly. Whooped. Lots of new Pokemon to add. Let's see. Nah. Very rude. I'll beat you up, you, you fat cat. Ugly cat. Okay, this thing has unimaginable advantage to annihilate us. Oh, how dare you run away? You had advantage in everything. You try and attack me, the fleshy human, then you run away like a coward. We'll go ahead and heal. Uh, just a little while to heal. Oh, you can do things. Ah, that's interesting. You can actually... I forgot that you could I do shopping here or that. Mm. I am dumb. But very nice that you can buy things here and sell. Very, very interesting. I'm going to go ahead and make some Ultra Balls. Probably just 20. And some great balls. And I guess I'll make a few stealth sprays. If I really want to be sneaky. Oh, 
All right, needs all play of the lead. I like wandering around. Hello, glam meow. Bunches of glam meows out in the be out. Some tanglers. We'll probably have to wait for nightfall to find more ghosty ghost types. Oh dear God. Why, yes. Go left, dear ally. You'll find nothing unawares over theirs. Speaking of unawares. Hello. Get out of my way. Because it just really wanted to come with me. Yes, yes, giant scorpion monster. I know that you exist. Huh, how do we defeat you with rock type moves? Did we not defeat you for rock type move? Oh, yeah, I think I used, uh,. I accidentally threw up Gyarados against you. My bad. Do not confuse my living rock. It needs to be able to be smart to do this. Now I want to fight you. Then I accidentally capture your friend who is running after me and now you're angry. There. Huh. That was probably up there, uh... A Storavia. Yeah. Like that level 35 one that I accidentally caught super early because I was just chucking my feather balls that I got. We'll go on a bit of the story. See if we can unlock another ruler. Another noble. You're an angry Pokemon. Well, we've already completed your Pokedex, so I don't care about you. At least not until I'm ready to go ham. Oh, bastard. Alright, you want to play a game of doom and gloom, bastard? You've impugn my dignity. And so, I'm going to impugn you with giant fuck-off rocks. Defend against that, you stupid bug. That's why you're a bug and that's why you don't use electricity. You don't use electricity. Because you're a bug. Bugs die when they touch electricity. I shall have this giant eight-foot woman do my gardening for me. She is also a rabbit, so she's the perfect form for gardening. Still love that tech. Woot woot. Ah, I thought there was something around here. Ooh, volcano. I think that's where we're going. Glam meow, Stantler. Hmm, lots of Stantler. Yeah, 
Yes, yes, you're trying to murder me. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you say. Hello, Pikachu. We already completed you. Surprisingly easily. I'll just run by them all. Do I need to... Fine, I'll annihilate you. You wanna die? You'll die. Destroy the Mothra. Full prejudice. Get out of here. I just wanted to be helpful. Oh, aren't you the Survey Corps member who quelled the Lady of the Ridge? Well, listen to this. A couple of Apom stole my pack of goods. Guess I get to catch an Apom. They've been darting around, leading me on a chase, almost like they're teasing me. I haven't got a hope of catching them. Oh, nice music. You used... You must be used to dealing with Pokemon. Can you get my pack back from those Apoms? Shutting, my dude. Awesome music. Caves. Well, we'll go all the way to the Lordless Island, I guess. Maybe. Love the music. Dear God. Find the Pokemon with three leaves. I guess maybe we have to talk to the person and be like, Hey, is this the Pokemon you're talking about? Fragrance of nostalgic herbs. I'm not sure if I have them. We need to complete Magikarp. Oh, it was a Glam Meow that he wanted, not a Purloin or whatever. The uh, pig Pokemon. We need to find Pop Pods. We need to find a... Uh, Dust Skull and Shadows, but let's see. Love the music. I guess while we're here, it's time for some stuff. I can't. I wanted to, though. It was the perfect entrance. Just catch them. If you catch them, you've basically already chased them down. I was standing at all. Oh, now they want to fight. Why? You're the ones who've been thieving. And they get to go first, too. Jerk. Crunch the A bomb. Crunch him, indeed. I guess I'll swap in 
my main man. So that he can use uh, false swipe against these fools, and I'll catch them both. I forgot, we don't have false swipe on you. Then instead, we'll swap in Sneasel, who has false swipe on. And this time I know for sure. I keep forgetting, I can just look at the moves they have equipped. probably gonna die and it's gonna be sad. Oh. oh, they're both doing double hit. Never mind. It's not, it seemed like they did multiple moves and they didn't even use Agile style. You're ugly. You're very ugly. Nobody likes you. Uh, then we'll send out Robin, catch the first one, and then annihilate the other one for its hubris. Oh, I can't. I can't even catch them. But I want to catch... Well, maybe I can. That's weird. I wasn't able to swap. I can't swap my menu. Maybe that's a hint that I can't catch them? There's no choice but to win this battle. Eh. Then why can I highlight them? That's a little weird. Eh, we'll destroy this first pool. I thought we could catch them. Wow. Annihilate this one first, Hubris. Ever so slightly weird. I wanted to catch them and show them the error of their ways through imprisonment. And now, cut into its soul. Well, well, I see you chased down the A-Palm. And my goods are all safe, thank goodness. How can I repay you? Let me think. Well, what's gotten into you, looking so meek all of a sudden? Are you actually feeling remorseful? Oh, all right, all right, no hard feelings. Just stop it with the sad look, you're making me feel bad. I just hope you've learned your lesson. No more pranks, please. Oh, come on! You couldn't even wait till I was done scolding you! They took my panap berries. I was saving those for later. Just goes to show you can't let your guard down around Pokemon. And it respawned me way over here in my doom! Then I guess I'll quickly go over there for that other request and get those other satchels. Let's see. Satchel is over this way. All this way. There you are. Now we need to go past the landing. Ooh. Seal Pokemon on the coast. Leave me alone. I ain't even to do to fight you. Defeat the fire type moves. 
I shall annihilate you for your hubris in challenging me. Flame wheel. Ah, these must be the pop pods. These are exactly what I require. And the Pokemon on the coast are going to be coming out. Let's see. So it will be interesting. Let's see. Uh, there is defeat. Ah, scared off of a scatterbang. I don't know why that's a mission. It just seems like it's a waste of resources. I guess that's there to be like, hey, you don't want to deal with Pokemon? Scare them away. <laughs> Hello. Pokeballs can't reach Pokemon flying way up high, but Featherballs are another matter entirely. Oh, thank you. Featherballs fly pretty far, so they're great for catching Pokemon up in the sky. I really should heal my Pokemon. Grab that. Let's see. Yes, yes, you're a glam, yeah. Cat, you're a kitty cat. And you dance, dance, dance. Oh, and Pokemon can grab satchels for you as well. Guess I'm going to go ahead and quickly heal my Pokemon before I get into a fight with a rogue alpha or something. I really need to make more. Luckily I have lots of uh, medicinal leaves, but not that many berries, all things considered. I'll make 25. Speaking of bet. We've already completed you, so I can annihilate you any way I want. There's a giant Pokemon over there, and I want to check it out. It's probably out of my league. But that's for me to decide. Yep, it is a giant fuck-off Pokemon. Ultra Ball, Backstrike, everything? If not, I'm gonna run away. Nope. Well, something else saw me. It's not him. In which case, EA. Get the pop pod. I don't think it got me the pop pod. Profound, profound violence. Welcome to Creepy Music Times. Ah, there's an A-Palm I can catch without remorse. Catch him. Get lots of points. Woot woot. 
And there's another spirit that I want. Honestly, where did he get off to? Excuse me. Have you seen my fellow, uh, a fellow from the construction corps named Yorich? Uh, no, I haven't. God, this is hopeless. Where could he have gone? Would you mind helping me track him down? I'll be waiting a little further ahead. Please come to me, uh, when you have the, some time. The real question is, how do I get up to that? Uh, I think I got up here just... Uh, nope, there it is. Ghost time. Well, now we'll go do the main story. Hopefully unlock a thing. A new noble to ride. Tons of pop pods, because they're a new resource. Pods of what, though? Now we need to head up the ramp. Great. Spirit. How do I get up there? I must. Oh, he's an angry bodybuilder. I better get out of here. Because I definitely need either some kind of scaling Pokemon or a flying Pokemon to get that one. Either that or I need to get much better at my weirdier mountaineering. Whine and cry all you want, but here to take your berries. Just another glam meow. At least it's not gonna be like that perugly and be like, I'm gonna bite you. Oh, you're actually going to defend yourself? I've run away! I don't have space in my satchel. What must be thrown away? The wood. We don't... There's not much to do with the wood. Silly Murkrow, I'm not scared of you. Oh, and then there's a mega bobbly. A mega bobbly boot. Let's see. Annihilate. It has stepped out of its lane and now it must die. Well, that's not very nice at all. Just jab it with the poison. Go away. Dust off. Let's see. Yeah, I figured not. Just figured I would try. On the one hand, it would distract it. 
on the other hand, if it did get, get caught, bizarre. If it didn't get caught, oh so well. Oh, it was a Growlithe that died. That's extra sad. Hush now, settle down. I'm Polina of the Pearl Clan, and who might you be? Ah, so you're that child from the Galaxy Team. I heard how you aided Cleaver and Lilligant when none other could quell their frenzy. Your strength must be amazing, and yet you have such a gentle face. I am wearing a mask, how dare you. So what brings you to the Cobalt Coastlands? We have no lord here, much less a frenzied one for you to quell. Our previous lord was swallowed by the waves. He was rescuing his young pup that had been swept out to sea and ended up giving his life to ensure the pup's safe return. If you were to guess which of these Growlithe would you say is the previous lord's child? And the small one? Oh, you have quite a good eye. This quiet, skittish Growlithe is the child of the previous lord. I have no doubt this little one has the potential to be a fine lord, but witnessing his father's demise has left deep scars in his heart. There are those who expect me to train him more strictly and force lordship upon him before he is ready, but I, have never br I could never bring myself to do that. No matter what the rest of the Pearl Clan says, my mind is quite made up. I'll stay by this little one's side and let him live his life as he wishes. So now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to these coastlands? I'm here to help the heir. Ah, uh, did Erida ask you to intervene, perhaps? I appreciate the kind gesture, truly. But I'm afraid this matter simply does not concern you. So now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose for the coastlands? I make for Firespit Island. A survey of Spire Firespit Island, I see. There are rumors the place is haunted by strange shadows these days. You'll need the aid of a Pokemon known as Basculegion if you wish to get there. You should speak to Iskin, a ward of the Diamond Clan, if he should be able to help you. There's definitely something strange happening out on Firespit Island. Those shadowy figures are concerning, of course, but then there's also the odd lightning that came from the rift in the sky. Lightning is a sign that the heavens are angry. I worry that we may have offended Almighty Sinnoh somehow. In the past, the Pearl Clan and Diamond Clan were locked in conflict over which side revered the true Almighty Sinnoh. Even if we've reached an uneasy peace, the true Almighty Sinnoh must be angered because there are still those who worship a false image of it. Ah, but I digress. I do apologize. Iskin lives on Apom Hill, just past Ginkgo Landing. Imagine you'll find him there. Find the home of Iskan. Yeah, I think down there will be an unknown. But yay, we're gonna get the help of Basculegion. You do not see anything. If I wanted, I could probably make my way down a bit. Especially because there's a spirit here. Nice of them to let you do that. Alright, giant artillery. I still think that there is something odd because I... There has to be something about Team Galactic from the main games, the main continuity, and this world. There has to be. The fact that there's a time rift, that we fell through the time rift. Don't mind me. Just trying to get to a spirit. Don't mind me. Ah, I can't get to it. But I can get lots of berries. 
And I guess while we pass by, we can drop off a bunch of our items. Aha! Too slow! Can't knock me off my weird ear. And then put away a bunch of items. We'll use the grit dust after taking a short rest to rest up our Pokemon. Woot woot. Go ahead and use. Raises normal defense as well. across every tree and relieve it of its fruit. And I guess we should also probably get our lost and found rewards. There we go. Gets hit by nothing. Oh, Volo! No, well, no, you're a Ginkgo Guild member. But no, it is Volo. Hello, Volo. Why, hello there, Miss Neon. Fancy running into you out here. Me, oh, I'm on the hunt for some plates. How's your plate hunting going, young friend? So so, I guess. No need to be humble. I see you've already got your hands on four plates. You gain plates when you quell frenzied nobles, and when a great Pokemon recognizes you as worthy of bearing it, isn't that right? And the way you've been collecting those plates, it reminds me of the ancient hero. The one that's said to have battled against Almighty Sinnoh. You know, I've been wondering. The ten, ancient po the ten Pokemon that are said to have followed the ancient hero, their powers are supposed to have come from Almighty Sinnoh itself. Why would they seek to challenge Almighty Sinnoh along the hero, then? Perhaps we'll get some answers once we gather all the plates? Well, let's both do our best and find more. But please, don't overexert yourself. I'd hate for something to happen to one of our guild's loyal customers. We enter there and we just see the guy's dead body. He's been murdered. D do I have a visitor? I'll be right out. Give me a moment. So, um, I'm Iskan of the Diamond Clan, a Galaxy Tim member with a Celestica flute. Oh, you must be Neon, right? Have I done something to warrant your visit? No. Well, sudden visits give me quite a shock. I do hope you'll give me advance notice of the future. Relatable. So, um, why are you here? I need Basculegion's aid. So, you, you want to go to Firespit Island? But, well, if you insist, then you probably need Basculegion's favorite snack. That would help help... Uh, that should help help him warm you up to you. But preparing his favorite... Oh, it's uh, more than a little difficult. More like an impossibly high hurdle. Or really just impossible, if I'm being honest. How so? I I'll tell you. I have the right materials, but... But then you... Well, you see, this next part's something I could never manage. But you need to catch this one Pokemon that appears at night. Which Pokemon? You really want to know? You you really don't value your own life, do you? It's d d dus Dusclops. Who even saying its name fills me with dread. So, the materials for the food have to be imbued with flavor by Dusclops, Dusclops Dark Pulse. 
That's the only way you can make Basque Legion's favorite food, you see. Mm, got it. Wow, is everyone in the galaxy team like you? Your nerves aren't just steel, they're titanium. It's positively frightening how um, fearless you are. Does, does, oh, I can't say it. Well, the Pokemon I need has only one eye and can be found wandering around Deadwood Haunt. Ah, oh, Deadwood Haunt is the area that looks like a hand on your map. You'll know when you're there, when you find the wrecked boats. I, I tried very hard to avoid those one-eyed Pokemon, and so now I know a lot about them, you see. Well, would, would you like to wait here until night with the Pokemon appears? I'll wait. Well then... How would they even know its favorite foods requires a dust clops? Obtain a dust clops. Oh, shit. Yes, yes, you're very angry. Lots of fuck off angry Pokemon over here. Well, I think I went the wrong way. But at least we know there's an Ambi Palm over here. Go down to the hand post. Oh, I just went the wrong way, I guess. I need, I guess. Large. Hmm. Ah, oh, I went that way. Understood. Me just dumb. So these are Pokemon that have caused boat crashes, according to the Diamond Clan. Giant monstrosity. Oh. Help me! Ah. Almost left me to drown there, didn't you, weird ear? And where did you go? She's all the way out at the hand. And there should be an unknown here as well. At the boat. Will you fuck off? Why are there so many goddamn Pokemon out for my blood? Ghost and flying, I forget. What's Go away! Oh. And, uh... Let's see. Your dust skull, I need a dust clops, but I guess I can catch you. All I wanted to do was clear the goddamn way. They're just like, oh, but I exist. Yeah, that works.
What saw me? Fuck you. What even saw me? What fucking saw me? Nothing fucking saw me. What lie? You don't fucking see me. Fuck off. How'd you fucking see me? I'll kill you. I'll kill your whole family. Utterly aggravating Jiflum bastard. I just want to catch the dust clops. Quit interrupting me. But I also need a dusk, uh, dusk skull. Well, because I also need a dusk skull for the photograph man, and the only one that showed up decided to photo bomb my fight of that one drifflebub. Bloody aggravating. Guess maybe we can check out the haunted ships. Well, you fuck off. You teleported in. You don't get to see me. Hmm, I wonder. You destroy? Go away! Oh, bloody fine, you fucking assholes! Scatterbang did not scare off Pokemon. Uh, scatter off weak Pokemon! They are weak because I say it so! Oh, hello there, loading personality. How are you? I'm currently preparing to beat up these annoying ass Pokemon because they won't let me explore these boats! These boats are mine to explore! Where'd that second drift of blum come from? Pure aggravation. This one will die, because it must die. Yes, I would have lots of fun with the game. Why does a ghost type know a fire move? It makes no sense. So now we have to kill you with prejudice. Well, that's extra of me. You're supposed to die when I do that move, Drifablum. So now I shall punch you with a monkey. All right, punch monkey. Punch hard. And you're wasting all my time, you bloody bastards. I want to catch a duskull. I only saw one duskull. It came when I wanted to clear the way and it was like, I'm ready to die. Because when I gave it a chance to actually survive, it said no. Kill the dust clops for ruining my timings. It must die for its sins. Now there should be unknown around here. 
Aha! Pokeball tech. Love me the Pokeball tech, and there be of the unknown. Oh, hey, chat off. Hmm. We probably want an air ball. Please. <laughs> Fucking rock! Now you just hate magical rocks getting in the way of your adventures. I don't know why I can't crouch in, like, ankle-deep water, but I can't. Yes, go away. I shall use you to get onto the boat, and maybe it will appease the unknown. Okay, these rocks just send weird deer flying. Maybe you just can't catch these motherfuckers with feather balls. It would be kind of amusing. It's the only thing that makes no sense, but bibbity boppity boo. Yes, yes, chat out. Fear me. Oh, you're not a chat out. I already completed a lot of your stuff. We must search out more chatots, so can there be a co so there can be a consolation prize for all the bloody ghost types getting up in my business and ruining my things. If I can find a Wigglytuff, I can recreate Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. At least we're catching lots of new Pokemon. And oh sure, now that it's daytime, the way's just wide open. At least I got a dust clop so I can do the main story if I want to. Do you want to die? The answer is yes. Want to die to electric move? I've got an electric move from a fire monkey for you. Kill! What do you deserve? Wild Pokemon looking be like, I can bully this trainer. It's not even trainer. Trainers don't exist yet. And then they see, they come to realize the folly of their ways. Break off in this chest. That implies that that ship crashed relatively recently, because Pokeballs are relatively recent of an invention. A Pokemon has committed vast murder here. You're not going to turn out to be a ghost, are you? It'd be very rude if you turned out to be a ghost. Oh, you're here. I've been waiting. Like I said, I need, you help fu need your help finding Yurich from the Construction Corps. He and I came out here to set up a base camp, but then he went off on his own to get the lay of the land and hasn't come back. Yurich ought to still be somewhere nearby. If you find him, please tell him to come back already. Well, let's try looking for the bastard. Yep, dig dig. Sometimes you have to go in circles. He went off to get the lay of the land. Where? He doesn't seem to have gone to Deadwood Haunt. So that basically means he is not in. So, 
Either he's still in sand reach. I think that's what that means. That has to be implying that he's still somewhere on the sandy hand of doom. Because she said he went to get the lay of the land. The note says it didn't leave Deadwood. Or didn't go to Deadwood. So it bloody means they should still be here. Oh yeah, fuck off. I don't even know what's attacking me. Ah, Rimmerades. Hmm, who should I send out to beat you up? I shall send out you to beat them up. Show them the folly of their ways. First, kill this one. Okay, don't know why you didn't do that in the first place, but luckily, my boy is no longer flying type, even though he is flying. Don't worry about it. I mean, Gyarados is a flying type for some reason. Try and kill him. Hmm. The unknown guidebook said, the unknown hint book said it should be over here, near the diddly D. I'm still looking for the bastard. Yorich. Ah, last poor Yorick. I nobody knew him well because he disappeared. A sticky glob. That must be new. But I swear. But since it said he didn't. Yeah, there you are. A tataki Pokemon! Yeah! Help me! Help me! Help me! Stay away! Away! Stay! Ah, why is this Pokemon talking? Talk? Talk? You alright? Far from it! Help me! Help me! Ah, this is one that we can actually catch. Agile Crunch. Nom nom nom. Of course you've got a critical hit. <laughs> you bastard. You hurt my baby. And I shall send out my giant waifu to crush you. Bow before your new god. All oh, these will probably kill you. Oh well. Agile player up, I guess. That's what you get for hurting my baby boy with a crit. Thank goodness, I don't know if I'd have survived without you. It was a talking bird. No one told me there'd be Pokemon that talk like people out here. What a fright. Back where I grew up, folks often said that if you hear someone talk when nobody's around, it's not a ghost playing tricks, it's just a chat -out. Anyway, thank you kindly for finding Yorich. I was doing the wrong voice there. My brain. All of them set up the camp. <laughs> He'll set up the camp, not you. And lift, and lift! <laughs> All finished. I'm sure that awful voice I heard mimicking me was just, just my imagination. Are you a big time young survey corps recruit? Come take a rest here at the camp any time you like. At least now I can wait here and catch a Dusclops. Or Duskaw. 
Ah, eh, one of them. Dust skull. What a splendidly scenic base camp. This ought to be quite convenient for surveying Pokemon that live on the waterfront. All right. Sticky Glob. A ball of some kind of sticky substance. Hitting a Pokemon with it may stun the Pokemon. So uh, it's just another stun. All right. I don't think there's anything for me to buy or swap. But I'll wait until nightfall so I can get a Duskull. I only saw one! I already have a dust clop, so I shouldn't need to worry too much. Fucking drift blooms! I want dust skulls! Dust skulls! I swear, my luck of only seeing one dust skull. That decided to crash a party. I'll be extra angry. You see nothing, you rotten bastard. There's it. We're gonna run into this again, eh? Let's see. He didn't even hit me. You weren't even there. Bastard. Not to mention, should you not be able to hit me? Because after all, you're a bloody ghost and I'm a human, therefore normal type. Lying bastard. Gang advantage, destroy him. All right, for you. We'll have to fight suboptimally. Granted, suboptimally still seems to be quite optimal here. Don't know why that did so much bloody damage. Maybe dub typing is still not my forte. I don't want to do any super effective things to the guy. Or else it will just annihilate him. I guess we'll send out Gyarados. Revive Sneasel so they can get some level experience from this capture, which will level them up. I also want to be super careful. Because I don't want the poison to kill him. Don't destroy the Dust Skull. God damn it, I said don't destroy the Dust Skull! Why is this beachfront just infested by all the Pokemon I don't care about? I want a Dust Skull! Not a Drifloom, not a Drifablom bastard! Dust Skull! Yeah, it's just like, here's all the annoying Pokemon you don't give a shit about. I just want a baby dust skull. Look around. Maybe more on the beach. No, just more drift bloom bastards. Why are there more si dust clops than dust skulls? I get it. Dust clops is part of the main story. Still, screw you. Give me my baby boy. He needs to go to his photo shoot. He needs to become a star. Is it one of those? I swear, it is looking more and more like Duskull is one of those Pokemon that has the unlucky certification of, oh yeah, this one has only a limited number of spawns per expedition. It hurts my soul. Once again, no idea why. They're just like, oh yeah, Dusclops should be the one that appears everywhere. Duskull, the lower level, the unevolved, 
That one must be rare. Why? My baby boy. He needs to go to his photo op. I shall settle for grabbing this ghost. I didn't even touch it. It knew my intent. And there's a giant fuck off Chansey. We're leaving. I'm going to have to rest and camp again. Unless the Dust Skull has decided to spawn. You're ugly and you're a balloon. Nope, instead a Dust Clop has taken the place of the Dust Skull. Blasphemy! Why are there so many dust cloths? Skull! Skull! That is what I require. S-K-U-L-L! -L. Skull! Utter silliness. For nightfall again! Want this one Pokemon, but it's surrounded by all the fuck off Pokemon I don't give a care about. Give me my Duskull, baby boy! Yeah, it really does seem like it's the once per frickin' expedition thing. Why? My baby boy's gonna miss his photo op! <laughs> his claim to fame! That's bloody stupid. Every single time I want to dust skull, the game is just like, oh yeah, you murder them now. But fine, we shall put away my dude. I shall put away, I guess, Gyarados for this. And we shall grab... Uh, Ah, huh, we've unlocked more pastures. A fuck off ton more pastures. Neat. Come with me, dust clubby. God damn it, there goes my. I forget your name. Get back in the box. This is your home. You can never leave. We'll take this bastard with us all the way to Mr. Scaredy Cat and make the food, and then we'll be able to swim. Why are you a dust clops? You should be a dust skull. You're ugly. You're hideous. Just go around them. Say hello to the giant monster on your way during your daily commute. Then we have to go all the way around so we can then go up. But my guess was spot on. We get the the swimming Pokemon before the flyy Pokemon. Hello. I have a dust clops with me. Did, did you bring it? You know, the Pokemon with the name that sounds like, um, dust bops? Oh, I didn't even need to bring him. Oh, well. Here's the bastard. You really brought it? No, no, don't bring it out! Right. I guess, I guess I've got to do my part, seeing how uh, determined you are to go to that island with Basque Legion. Usually I um, ask Polina if the Growlithe she takes care of can help me with this bit. But this time you need to help since, well, since we're making the snack so that you'll be accepted by Pascal Legion. But once I give the signal, you have that dust bops of yours use its dark pulse. F 
three, two. Whoa, no, it's too frightening. Come on, try again. Right, so counting down to it just makes the anticipation of terror worse. Let's simply have you do it when I say go. And go! A delicious aroma wafts through the air. Basculegion's favorite snack is now ready. Ball of Basculegion food. Uh, favorite food of Basculegion, a Pokemon that will bear you on its back. This food is crafted in an unusual way from ingredients gathered via equally unusual methods. Both the aroma and the shape are perfect. It's the perfect ball of Basculegion food. Then let us make for Ginkgo Landing. We can summon Basculegion there. I'll just teleport back here and get my... Well, I guess we can just go here. To the beachside camp. And I'll trade out my Pokemon properly. Hmm, who do I want on the team? Could have Gyarados. Maybe someone else. Maybe I could level up Arthur. But I'm not sure if he could... Hmm. Maybe I could try and... Uh, now I want to save Lancelot. I need to get more of the diddly Ds so I can evolve him into a Gallade. Beep, 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 beep. Who do I want to take with me? Honestly, didn't expect to earn so many more pastures. Feels kind of silly. So many pastures. The incision, the incision. I will bring back Gyarados. And... Well, there was that, but meh. Oh wait, actually speaking of the meh. Turn in this Lost Satchel. What shall we do to summon Bass College and... Oh, hello, Mion. I, I was just waiting for you. Hello, Iskin. Oh, oh Paulina, I, I thought you said we wouldn't be seen together. I'm sure Neon can keep a secret. Besides, both I and the growl of pups were eager to meet with the great Bass Legion again. He did say that... They, Paulina would help create the food. Ah, I've compl for some reason my brain was just like, oh yeah, they're from different clans. I see, well in that case, let me summon Basque Legion. All the Pokemon are summoned by the same tune. Now I can ride on a Pokemon Seaback. Go on, Neon. You can give the food to Basque Legion now. Hope I don't have to fight him. You threw the ball out of Basque Legion food. Great Basque Legion. Oh, thank goodness. I was a little worried about whether Basque Legion would accept this favor. So, uh, Neon, you should let Basque Legion hear your plane.
Basque Legion opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. Ah, and then I got the splash plate. Woot woot. Splash plate, a stone tablet imbued with the essence of water. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the water type. Now you can ride Bas- oh, yeah. Now you can ride Basculegion across Tranquility Cove and head to Farspit Island. My congratulations to you, Neon. Paulina, do you want to tell her? I mentioned to you before how the previous lord rescued his Growlithe pup. During that incident, Iskin the Basculegion saved my life as well. Since then, I've felt a great deal of affection for Iskin here. I truly adore him. But I know there are those who speak ill of me behind my back, so I try to meet with Iskin when there are no prying eyes to preserve my reputation. Well, I was just doing what any decent person would do when I saved you. Perhaps, but nonetheless, after that day I found the strength to accept Growlithe as he is, not force him to become the next lord. And uh, it was all thanks to the courage you showed me, Iskin. And perhaps we should save this discussion for another time, after all. Now I can summon Basculegion and ride. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever go. The the bad luck trio is here. The elder sister of your unlucky charm. Thought you'd spotted your full of clover. We've already done this before. You're not Team Rocket. Why are you here? We're the misfortune sisters, not across the frigid land of Asui, and your luck's just run out. Now get ready to hand over that Growlithe. You want to take my partner? If your aim is to pester us with bad jokes, those ridiculous introductions of yours were more than enough. Yes, exactly what she said. Now, Gengar! God damn it, it ate the dog. Now, this definitely feels like Pokemon. Thanks for the Growlithe, fools! We three can't live the kind of lives we want because of narrow-minded groups like the Diamond Clan and Pearl Clan. If we want to live freely in the great land of Hisui, we need to have powerful Pokémon on our side. Don't worry, we'll make sure this pup grows nice and strong. We'll even make him lord for ya. Let's take the mutt to our camp and get to work. No one will bother us in a place so miserably hot. Well, I'll have to hunt them down. Murder their whole family. What? No! Growlithe! What should we do, Neon? This is an emergency, right? But, uh, but you see, I've never- I've never actually had my partner battle before. Please, Neon, I beg of you, help us. That Growlithe is a very, very dear Pokémon to me. Please save him. They said that you were going to a place where nobody would bother them. The only place around Cobalt f Coastlands that seems suitable is Fire Spit Island. Oh, now that you have Basque Legion to help you across the water, you can reach that island too. Please, could you find it in your heart to help Polina? Of course. I get to beat up the Misfortune Sisters. Oh, thank you, thank you. You're so kind. We'll make our way to Fire Spit Island as well. How can you get across? No, Polina, you should stay away here and keep little Growlithe safe. I'm sure he needs you right now. Though, I'm not sure if I want to go to an island with lightning and bandits and... No, come, Neon. No time to think. We must go now. You should also know that Basque Legion can jump from the water's surface and then jump once again in the air to go even higher. You can throw items from Basque Legion's back, too. Neat. In your case, I guess that would mean throwing Pokeballs to catch Pokemon. Honestly, I've no... I have to admit, I'm a little scared. Do you think you could head over first? Woot woot. Traversing water of Basque Legion. Press the diagonal button or A button when you're in the water to summon Basque Le or plus button. It looks like D-pad. <laughs> when you're in the water to summon Basque Legion and cross the water on his back. While riding Basque Legion, you'll still be able to throw items. What's more, when Basque Legion jumps into the air, you'll have more time to adjust your aim before you throw. Neat. 
which means I can fight Pokemon in the water. Bloody Remoraid. No. Quit taking my camera away from me. Let's see. And then I can just have my Pokemon gather items for me. Oh, you're ugly. Ah, man to man tyke. Well, that's cool. Not exactly what I wanted. I wanted to get up here so I can get that spirit soul. You can't bubble me. I'm trapping the soul of another person in my body. Now we can see if there are any unknown around the diddly D. Waiting for me. Because it did say something about the two horns rising from the sea. There you are. Hello, unknown. <laughs> woot woot. little unnerving that I have to actually get in the water to summon Basculegion. Oh. Raging Gyaradoses. I'll go ahead and escape them. Don't want to deal with them none. downside is I have to show myself to so many Pokemon. Oh, that's nice. It automatically changes if you ride a Pokemon into the water. That's better. Oh, Tentacool. Or Tentacruel. Super angry one at that. Level 50. I'd rather not right now. Super neat. This will make exploring places so much nicer. <laughs> and it just uh, transforms into a Bastion Legion. I love it. The more that this game opens up, the more that I just absolutely adore it. In fact, want to rearrange my team a bit so that I can better swap between the two that I want to level up by doing things. Hmm, maybe I need to distract them with food. Oh no, it disappeared. There's a cave here. Interesting. Tidal pass. Good. Hey, it's uh, another one of these. All right, there's Man Manaphy. There's the you. I forget what your name. There seems to be uh, Giratina. I wish that I could zoom in. Hmm. Alright, actually what I'm gonna do... 
What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a screenshot of this on my capture card. And I'll take a look at it later. Because this interests me. I love this kind of mythology and lore that we're getting from all this. But yeah, title passage. Don't know why the title passage has... Inscriptions on it. But now I can actually explore, like, the oceans and everything. Need to really sneak up on these water Pokemon. Or maybe we'll get lure balls when we level up next time. Alright, giant fuck off Shellus. The Goop Meister. I wonder if the Misfortune Trio are going to just accidentally create. Accidentally create the fire Growlithe, because these Growliths are the ones that go ahead and psycho cut you. Because you're big and scary. Yeah, because these Growlithe are rock-type. Rock and ground-type, I think. So, I wonder if the rock-type being thrown into a volcano will create a new Lord of Fire. I find it funny that just, like, a biker seat just appears on my Pokémon. So many Pokemon open themselves up now. God diddly dang it. Ah, Slash. We want to take this one alive. Alright, we should probably do normal. Normal ass slash. And normal ass slash again. Throw an Ultra Ball. How dare you! I guess... I hope this doesn't kill you. Now will you please come with me, into the ball you see. Come on! Bastard! Get in the fucking ball! Get in the ball. Bastard. At the very least, this is going to be a very fruitful expedition when it comes to actually tallying up all the new Pokémon I've gotten. Although, 
now I wonder why I can't throw items from the back of the other Pokemon. The other legendary Pokemon. Well, not legendary. Pseudo-mythicals. Weird ear and all the like. Ah, you got here. Whew. Fire Spit Island is certainly hot enough to feel like a sweat bath, isn't it? And now we've got a ghost of bandits to deal with on top of the heat. I'm very sorry, but do you think you could lead the way, Neon? The poor Growlithe, I don't dare imagine what those bandits are doing to him now. being here. A 3D volcano. It would be, in, you know, one thing I would have liked is if, like, this place kind of resembled the Pokemon Snap fire area, but it wouldn't really work because it's... Ooh, ah, you want to fight? Point me! Alright. Let's try a not fatal water pulse. And throw an ultra ball at the magma. Much nicer than the tentacruel. Water type moves, eh? Final defeat, you both. Destroy this one in one blast. We're trying to burn my Gyarados. He's a good boy. Very narrow here. And I don't want to know what happens if I touch the lava. Kind of interesting that you've actually have the opportunity to touch lava in a Pokemon game. What even soulmate? More spawn behind me. Ah, this is where the Arcanine Lord lived. Let's see, do we have any level up cubes? It does not look like we have any level up cubes. But we do have grit dust. Let's raise your special defense. And raise your HP, because we're probably going to need you, Sneasel. Yo, bitches, I'm here. Leave that Growlithe alone. Come on, evolve already! We've done our homework, any Pokemon gutsy enough to come to this lava trap supposed to evolve, so get on with it already! You will become stronger, like it or not!
Hello, bitches. Oh, look, the pest again. Stand back, sisters. I'll take care of her. Go, Obama Snow. Smash this full to pieces. Uh huh. I thought I'd be fi fighting the Gengar, but I was wrong. Let's see. Aha. Agile Poison Stab. Good job. Annihilate it in one go! Love the music. Too bad I'm too quick and too powerful. I don't get it. How'd I lose? Because you're pathetic. You're ugly. You're ugly and pathetic. You know Obama Snow can't fight a full power and crazy heat like this. It wasn't a fair battle. We were basically going easy on you. In fact, how dare you make poor Obama Snow battle in such a stupidly hot place? You're the one who sent out Obama Snow, sister. Go on then, Toxicroak. Pour some poison out for our unwelcome guest. Ah, so it's now a gauntlet battle. Hmm. Do I have anything powerful against this guy? No. Come back, Sneasel. Alright, Robin. I'll try you. This motherfucker's gonna have Venishock, though, which is gonna suck. Agile! Air Slash! Oh, of course he avoided it, he's a cunt. Strong Air Slash! Woot woot. That's why I gave all the grit to my boy. What a blithering moon calf I am. How could I let myself lose? I guess I lose the coin toss sometimes. I did warn you, didn't I? that I had a score to settle galaxy, galaxy team. All the pain and suffering I experienced after coming up here from the Kanto region to work, I'm gonna make you pay for every last slight. What even happened with you guys? How come we haven't asked anybody at Team Galactic about you? Oh, right on. I thought we were gonna have to fight the Gengar, but I guess we'll fight your Gengar next after this. Heal you up good first. Yeah. Come on out. Gyarados, even though it could use a rock move. Which, then again, I think the rock move should just come out to normal because water flying. Hmm. Normal water pulse. Can't risk it. Ah, never mind, it dies. And since you have Crunch, you should make quick work of this bastard, too. Never mind, it goes first. Use Crunch! Eat up that Gengar! Woot woot. Bravo, Girado. What a disgrace. Go back to work, you layabout. How could all of us have been 
Hey, Charm, I healed up Obama's no to coins Toxicroak. Good as new. Now we can keep battling until we run out of potions. Knock them into the lava. Oh, you're the one that's going to evolve. The prince. Well, hey, no one invited you, Tiny. You're really going to insist on getting in the way, you runt. Take him down, Toxicroak. I know it's hot, but hang in there, Obama Snow. Smash that runt. Growlithe, please stop. You cannot beat such foes. Paulina, what are you doing here? I thought you were waiting with little Growlithe. I was, but then he jumped into the ocean without waiting and swam all the way here. Into the ocean? But he was terrified of the ocean after it swallowed up the former lord, his own father. Got here all by himself. Is that the lord, your father's spirit, calling to you? Or is it... Or what could it be? Ah! Evolving on the land. Awesome. An actual cutscene. We haven't seen one of these in a bit. Looks like he finally found his courage. The late Lord's child. He's evolved. His true bravery lay not in crossing the sea, but in finding the strength to face hardships head on. You gotta be joking me. Why'd the puny one evolve? Uh, sisters, something's not right. Uh-oh, what? Aw, oh, shit. Now he's frenzied. Why'd it have to be now? <laughs> the moment. <laughs> he's like, he becomes the Lord. Whatever the hell's on the other side of the space-time rift is just like, eh, frenzy time. What? Polina, stay back! Okay, new theory time. Maybe this is Team Galactic's work? Like, the Team Galaxy we're working on, uh, working with, are completely separate from the main game's Team Galactic, and... The Frenzy Lightning could be sent from the main game's Team Galactic to try and take over this universe? What's happened to him? The strange lightning hit him. He's become Frenzy, just like the other nobles. This is exactly why I didn't want to come to this island. Throw them into the lava. Uh, everything was going just as we'd wanted before that awful mutt ruined everything. Enough of this, sisters. We leave this place. We won't be making any living without our lives. Wait, is this is all your fault? We should get out of here too, Polita. Otherwise, we're fair game for the Arcanine. Come on, Neon. We should hurry. Yeah, because we need the balms to calm him down. Lena. What are you going to do about Growlithe? I mean, Arcanine. That dear little Pokemon is my responsibility. As his warden, it is my duty to protect him with everything I have. But what was that Aru from the other side of the portal? Nyan, what must we do to quell his fear frenzy? Please tell us what we need. His favorite food. Oh, we need to make some balms. Balms? Irida, what are you talking about? His favorite food, made into a bomb. I'm the leader of our clan. Is it so surprising that I know a little more about these things than you, Lena? I held my tongue the first time, but now I must insist. Stop calling me Lena in front of everyone. And yes, I'm well aware of your, our, you're our leader, Irida. How could I forget that when you're, you are the chosen one? You who can use your Celestica fluke to summon Pokemon and have them carry, uh, carry you to even the farthest reaches of Vastisui. I've learned a little about these frenzies as well. There's a special method for dealing with them. We can make bombs, pouches containing a mix of the Lord's favorite foods, and throw them from a safe distance. Isn't that right, Neon? Yeah. Well, uh, in that case, I do always carry some of Growlithe's favorite foods with me, so I can fa uh, thank him when he uses his flames to help prepare Basque Legion's favorite meal. Why, Iskin, once again, your thoughtfulness saves the day. Now we can use... Um, now we can make those bombs right away. Yes, let's get right to work. 
I'm gonna have to heal up my poke. Well, hopefully they heal up my Pokemon before we go in. They're ready. Here are the bombs we need. Please let me know when you feel prepared to try to quell Lord Orcanine's frenzy. I'm gonna do it right now after I heal up my Pokemon because we're gonna have to go into a battle. But that was really cool going into a back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back fight. I like that. Well, Gyarados is definitely gonna have to pull his weight in this one. Well, her weight. Gyarados is just such a masculine Pokemon, I keep forgetting. And then I'll... I'm ready to go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Neon, please do your utmost to save my dear Arcanine. He may have finally become a lord, but it is clear this frenzy is causing him to suffer greatly. Be on your guard. The late Lord Arcanine would launch devastating attacks from afar after standing still and gathering light around himself. Remember that while your dodging moves will slip right by you. Good luck. <coughs> I'm here to challenge you, Lord Arcanine. Utterly horrifying. Lord of the Isles, Markanine. I forgot my dodge buttons. Oh crap. Oh, I can... Alright. There we go. Go Gyarados! Okay, that's very cool. And thank you for being kind. Well, that's not good. Do a strong water pulse. Destroy him! Critical hit. Thank you, world. First, heal up my poor Gyarados because it got annihilated. I forgot. I just feel like, oh yeah, type advantage. I can't enter the middle anymore. Don't know how I'm supposed to enter that middle part anymore. Too bad this is very going very slow. I got smacked. Did I win? I won. Yay. This is the fastest frenzy to unfrenzy. Welcome back from your frenzy, my boy. Oh. Oh, look, that strange light has left Arcanine and is vanishing into the space time rift. Time rift? Oh, my voice just gave out there. Whoa. Happy. You received the flame plate from Arcanine. Woot woot. Flame plate, a stone tablet imbued with the essence of fire. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the fire type. What could possibly lie on the other side of the rift, I wonder? What is that? What? 
Was that two different Arcanine cries just now? Who is that up there? It disappeared. It must really be a ghost. Oh, now I understand. My little Growlithe. Ah, no, I misspoke. Lord of the Isles, Arcanine. You and I must now live apart so that we may attend to our separate duties. Now, now, all will be well. You're strong. Far stronger than me, in fact. From now on, let us each strive to fulfill our duties as Lord and Warden. Now go, Lord Arcanine. Your realm awaits. And to think it was only possible, thanks to the help of the Diamond Clan man. Um, was I the only one who felt like they heard the cry of the previous Lord Arcanine earlier? Oh, how odd. I certainly didn't. But please, I do hope you're joking. I'm easily scared as it is. What am I to do if I start hearing the cries of ghosts all the time? No need to worry, Iskin. I only kid. I also heard the voice of the previous Lord calling out to us. It seems I wasn't the only one watching over his young pup this whole time. Neon. You have my heartfelt thanks for helping my dear little one, the new Lord Arcanine. I'm sorry to ask even more of you, but please look after Irida as well. Now then, Iskin, I believe we'd best be off. I did it. Neon, I wasn't much use just watching from the side, was I? You know, when Lena couldn't raise Growlithe to be the new lord and people in our clan were doubting her fitness as a warden, I urged her to put Growlithe through the proper training, but she snapped at me. This poor Pokemon saw his own father die, she told me. Is it a warden's duty to force a child in such pain through the training? Those words left me with much to consider. And even when Arcanine became Lord of the Isles and grew frenzied, all I could do was watch. <laughs> what about the bombs? Please, all I did was arrive late and help explain about bombs. Something you could have done without me. Is it so praiseworthy? Do I deserve to be recognized for such a slight contribution? I took on leadership of the Pearl Clan so young, with no grand vision of what it should be. Still, I tried to respect our old customs and sights, even as some called me old-fashioned for it. But watching you, I finally see. I know what I want to do. I want to protect this vast land of Hisui. Grant me another battle someday, Neon. I want to battle alongside my partner so we can grow strong enough to be of help to you and to broaden the horizons of the world I see. <laughs> Looks like I've got Lena to thank for yet another lesson that I've learned. I should let her know and hear about more about her relationship with Warden Iskin while I'm at it. Here's where we part for now, Neon. I need to get off this oven of an island. But yeah, I did it. Lava Dome Sanctum. Seaside Hollow. But now I can actually go to these islands. And there's more requests. Woot woot. Let's travel fast. And then we can just jump into the water as well. Let's see. Wait, I need this Pokemon. Come to me! I need you for a quest. Woot woot. Don't know why it's getting so foggy all of a sudden. 
Have we gone through the seaside hollow? No, this is definitely new. Oh, it's a cave cave. Bastard. Guess I'll go through the cave cave. This must be for a quest. Or a legendary encounter. Maybe Lugia comes here. Alright, interesting to know. This place has caves that have nothing in them. For now. Oh god, I just had an awful idea. What if there's shiny... Like, uh, these Pokemon, the ones that you ride. That would be a nightmare. Oh, great, a giant Empoleon of Doom. And it Naruto runs. Please don't turn around on a dime. I just want to see what your level is. Level 69, lol. Let's see. I kind of want to look about this area. Toxicroak. A bunch of gold ducks. It's like the further you go on, the more and more Pokemon are willing to throw hands. <gasps> Peplop! And will you fucking gold ducks go away? A crap wrong button. What wants to fucking fight me? Fuck off! Damn Murkrow. You're gonna die. Die. Kill. Quit running around and die. Face your fate, you bastard. Why do so many Pokemon get in my way when I just want to catch one fucking Pokemon? Kill! Kill! Kill the bastard for interrupting my Peplop hunt! Okay, good. Don't steal from the pet fluffy bastard. Go away. Stupid bibrable. What wants to fuck off? Nothing. Easy fuck. You little bitch. You're gonna fucking die. You're gonna fucking die, mate. I don't think it got upset that I didn't give it the goddamn berry. Don't really care about cops or croak. further into the world we go, the more dangerous and dangerous it becomes. Huh. The turn back cave is somewhere up this mountain. Well, I want to see what's inside.
Ah, uh, just another toxic crook. That is... Entrance. Will you bugger off? Looking for a cave entrance. Which I guess I need a flying type because it seems to be... At the very top of a lake in here. Unless I can manage to... Jank my way up. Uh, no, I don't think this will work. I need... The power of Tom ha Todd Howard. Or a flying Pokemon. Maybe both. Almost. 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 Uh. Almost. I can. Maybe. I can get up there. It almost feels like I can. It almost feels like I can. I know I can. I feel I can. The little Skyrim that could. Yay! At least for this. Now if I can get into that little crack. Maybe. Dang it, I fell. Crack is whack. But not for me. Dang it. So yeah, definitely need a flying type Pokemon to get over that. Into the land beyond. There are just so many Pokemons that want my giblets on this world. Now I guess we'll go about, check out these two islands for anything, get that, and go to those two requests. dare you attack your lord Bastille Legion Dad what a fight yeah just war resources Resource Can't judge me for wanting resources. But now that is a resource. Utter loveliness. Woohoo! Getting lots of wisps at the very least. Camera, please, will you fuck off and get behind me? Here come down here, grab that satchel. And then do grab the two requests. Yeah. 
Ah, I think I see it right. And another one popped up behind me. Well. That'll get a little bit jarring, but kind of funny too. Let's see. Oh yeah, I still need to look for a dust skull. Of course. Fuck you, I threw my Pokeball before you left. Get back here, you coward. It is the law of the universe. I throw my Pokeball, you stay and fight. Ah, uh, just another balloon guy. Hello there, is your first crack at balloons race, or maybe you've gone uh, had a go before. Either way, we're not team up with the Pokemon to try and outrun try out my fun balloon bursting game. You'll just need to burst as many of my admiral balloons as possible riding a Pokemon. Hibbity bibbity bobbity boo, hibbity bibbity bobbity boo. You're part of the Survey Corps, right? Could you help me out? It seems this Pokemon's so hungry that it can barely even move. I tried giving it food, but it wouldn't take a bite. I don't know if it's being stubborn or what. It showed some interest in plump beans, but it wouldn't eat them. We could use crafting. Oh, of course. If we make the plump beans extra tasty, I'm sure this little deer will eat them. What kind of Supply Corps member am I to completely forget about crafting? In any case, maybe bean cakes would do the trick. Could you make one? If you need the recipe, you can find out the craft works. So I need to make a bean cake, because I don't think I can make a bean cake. <coughs> Excuse me. I guess I'm allergic to beans. Can I craft it? Nope, I need to get the bean cake recipe. But I guess while we're here, let's try your balloon challenge, my dude. Ah, oh, this kind of teaches you as well that you can quit messing with my camera. That's kind of funny. That the alphas are still in there. Oh, okay, that works too. I was gonna jump, double jump over, but. Very interesting. They actually made it into a mechanic that you can go from land to water and land again. Teaching how to double jump as well. Dang it. Fucking tentacles getting in the way. Yeah, one go. Give me all your treasures, man. Welcome back. You burst 40 balloons. P perfection. You propped every single balloon. You're definitely a balloon bursting boss, that's for sure. And that means you're deserving of something special to mark the occasion. Two nuggets. Woot woot. And seed of mastery. And what do you know? You beat my target of bursting at least 24 balloons. Well done, you. Another nugget and 10 ultra balls. It was gripping watching you ride Pokemon with such skill. Keep challenging yourself to reach even greater balloon-bursting heights. There is nothing greater. I have attained perfection. All right.
right, and now we'll head over there and grab that. That one. Head into the water, quickly throw Sneasel to grab that for me. Don't know why I can only grab things from the back of water type. Basque Legion. Do not know. Yeah, I just love the design of these places. They're super interesting. But I still need to get that flying type to really explore the place. All these places. Simply incredible. Oh, you there, Survey Corps kid. I need your help catching a Pokemon. The Construction Corps is busier than ever these days, making homes for new people in the village. We just don't have enough labor to handle everything, so we figured why not try and see if Pokemon could help us out. I searched around a while for a while reliable Pokemon that wouldn't need much training, and I was lucky enough to find an incredibly robust Pokemon called Machoke. Now, I'd love to get Machoke to join us myself, but I don't have the faintest idea how to get about catching such a strong-looking Pokemon. First thing to do, then, is to learn more about Machoke. Show me its complete Pokedex entry. Machoke, not Machop. Let's see, how many do I need? Uh, I guess I could get y catch you and complete Machop. The Machop one. Yeah, you go get hungry. See for you, it's mostly defeat. Defeat with psychic type moves. Times you've stunned it using items, or I guess I could just throw tons of uh, spoiled apricorns at it. Or Alpha's unable to get punned. Okay, that's terrifying. Maybe it prefers mud. How do I stun you? Yeah, it's just not being stunned by items. Meh. Guess I could try and beat it since it's like... Nope. Utterly terrified. Level 40. So I shall annihilate you. Because you will just appear again and again. Psychic move. But it can't do anything. Psychic move. And then I guess I can also try to evolve up some of these Machops in to Machoke, so technically they count as caught. That's all done. Then I think we shall head back to the village. I've done lots, my man. I've done lots. 
<laughs> I didn't get a dust skull though. I'll have to come back and do that later. And I get lots of money. Oh, it seems you made some new observations. Let's have a look. Completed cello, smotham, apalm. And did a lot for everything else, too. Not enough for a level up, but oh well. You cl you quilled Lord Arcanine? Oh, let's tell Commander Kamado. The good news, then, shall we? Back to Jubilee if we go. Thank you very much for the raid, Mario LC. How are you doing today? We are making more progress, and now I get to ride a giant ghost fish. What do you need, lady? Why, hello again. Wonderful timing, as always, I see. You really came to my rescue with that pickling stone, you know. You're quite the little helper. So I would wonder if I could impose on you again for help with a new pickle proposal of mine. I was down by the sea gathering fresh ingredients recently when, wouldn't you know it, an octillery popped up and sprayed me with ink. But here's the thing. The ink, well, it actually tasted rather good. That's a bit weird. Inspiration quite literally struck me in that moment. I knew I could use this ink to create pickles, the likes of which the world has never seen. But making good food out of something a Pokemon has spat out seems risky to say the least, no? So a little research octillery is in order, I think. That's where you come in, dear. If you learn more about octillery, please let me know. Okie doke. I beat Revali and Urbosa. The resource stealers are eating all my resources. Also, I killed the Meldugo when I wasn't supposed to. Yeah, I made sure... I think I waited to do that until a bit after. Like, I replayed the mission to do that. To see what happens. Because killing the Melduga, I don't know what happens. It's been so long. And then accidentally died to a random Yiga Blade Master and lost the Melduga kill. Ouch. Now, before you buy a wee treat, lend me your ear a moment, would you lass? I came up with a new treat using candy truffles, but it's caused me nothing but sorrow. Every last person who tries it says it's beyond saving. A complete disaster. Utterly terrible. I've had to shelve this new creation, and there it remains, in a salty puddle of my bitter tears. It'll likely never see the light of day again. It seems like I'll never be able to pull a profit from my creation, but at least I'd like to share my recipe with someone, lest it be forgotten entirely. You like making things with your own hands, don't you? I could share you my recipe with you. I've got plenty of candy truffles to spare, but you'll need to bring a sootfoot root, a springy mushroom, and a hoppo berry, okay? So a thing, my dude. Oh, wait, I don't have them? I need to have them on hand, I bet. That's stupid. Let's buy that, uh, recipe. Oh, what's this? Star- <gasps> You can fucking make star pieces? A star piece crafting from the fucking shards. Give. 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 Give me. Dire hit. Don't care. Ox guard, ox power, bean cake. Need bean cakes. For story. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Grain cake. Sure, why not? Honey cake. Sure, just in case. Max ether. That sounds pretty good. Full heal. Or speak f uh, from full heals from scratch. I, I think a full heal just gets rid of status effects. Superb remedy for crafting superb remedies. I don't know what a superb remedy is. A fine remedy. I guess we can buy this one just to see what a remedy does. But now I can frickin' make star pieces? That's hilarious to me. He's just like, I can make star pieces now. Why can I make star pieces? It's already paid for itself. By God! Okay, no more s If only I knew, if only I knew not to sell the Stardust. But the Stardust specifically says, Hmm, you can sell this. So I thought that's all it was good for. Selling to the merchant. Nope. I, if I were in charge of uh, wording things, descriptions, it totally should have been worded, maybe you could make something really good with this. I have been stolen. Oh, that Pokemon with the tail fins. I'd like to get another look at it. 
Hey, you're quite the Pokemon expert. I was wondering, do you know anything about a Pokemon that has tail fins? I saw one swimming along the other day, fluttering its two tail fins behind it. It looked so lovely, it was captivated. I really want to see that Pokemon again, but this time I'd like to see it, get a good look at it. Alright, I know where that is, and what Pokemon it is. Well, speaking of Pokemon... Don't know where you are, back alley mime. Search for bitter leaves. Ugh. Off to, uh, fragrance of nostalgic herbs. All about Magikarp, elegant tale. Let's go to that dude. Because I know it's Glam Meow. And I don't have any of the Tailfin Pokemon. Hello, dude. I have Glam Meow. Here, this is the glam meow you were looking at. Yes, this is it! It's just as I remember. The elegant sway of its tail. The charming spiral shape. And the enchanting way it bobs about like a leaf in the wind. Simply remarkable! Ah, oh, it's little meow. He's adorable as well. Have you gotten attached to me there, kitty? Oh, the dilemma. Pokemon are scary, but maybe this little one and I'll get along just... Lol. Ah, the darn thing scratched me! Temperamental kitty. I guess I got a little carried away there. Thanks for showing me your glam meow anyway. Its tail, at least, was a joy to see. One day when I find Pokemon with the perfect tail for me, I'd like to become fast friends with it. Just like you and your partner, Pokemon. Alright. Back alley, Mr. Mime. Go ahead and do a few quests back here. Hello, person, you're dealing with a mime. Want me to send him to France for you? Oh, hello. Thanks again for finding me those orange berries. I had a wretched time in the field lands getting harried by Pokemon left and right. They even got me a few of their moves. But I did get those tumble stones, so I think I've earned some time to cool my heels here. I don't even have a chance to use all the orange berries you got me. But they made a lovely snack. It's nice to be able to carry so much, asking that asking that fellow at headquarters to help me fit more in my satchel is definitely the right move. So helps help so helpful soul that you are, I suppose you're here about my request from the professor. On the matter at hand, then, would you mind investigating the Mr. Mime that's taken up residence here in the village? Just having a wild Pokemon among us is scary enough. And then there's the eerie way it moves. The security corps refused to handle it for whatever reason. I'm hoping a survey corps person like you can help me out. Look, it's over there! See what it's up to, would ya? It's being a mime. It's using barrier. Uh. So we can't go there because there's logs, because we can't go over logs. Hello, Mr. Mime. What you doing? What happened? It ran off that way. It wouldn't run unless it had something to hide. Now we've really got to find out what it's up to. That's hilarious. It must be hiding something after that mime. Hey, you got anything interesting to sell? Let me guess, it went behind the building. Look, that Mr. Mime ran right up there. My Mime! Find a way to approach Mr. Mime and see what it's up to. God, I wish that I could ride Weird Ear. And while you chase after Mimes all the way back to France, remember to stay hydrated. Because you don't know what the Mimes are up to. Oh, wow. Okay. It has a really big, really big wall. 
Ah. Odd. Odd, 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 odd. How do I get behind it this time? Maybe I can scare my Pokemon. Or maybe I need to go from the right. <laughs> go my Pokemon. Okay. Nope. Mime, how do I get to you? So they don't think we can go beyond. Maybe I don't know. Beat up the mime for me. Because I can't go from that side. Maybe if I can hit it in the face? Nope, it doesn't want me to throw things at it. But I shot anyway. Let me pass. Let me pass, you bastard. Huh, I'm not sure exactly what they want from you here. Do you have any suggestions? Let me through, Mr. Meme. I honestly have no idea how to get to it. I don't think it would want me to go all the way up. You'd think it would just be like, hey, go past it, go around. Okay, weird that there's this much of a wall. I'm very confused by what the game wants when it comes to this damn mime. What do you want, Mr. Mime? I throw a ball. It didn't. I use a scatter bag. Nope. The hell do I do with the goddamn mime? It's a maze. That's what it is. It's a goddamn maze. Huh. Okay. Would have been nice if it was actually... If, I, if the game had told me it was a maze. It ran off that way! You know, you've got a roundabout way of trying to get up close to a Pokemon. Are you secretly scared of them or something? It's these invisible walls. What? You're joking. Unless that Mr. Mime is using some kind of mysterious power. Whatever the case, this calls for future research. I've got to get all after that Mr. Mime. Come quick! Ha! <laughs> We actually saw him disappear. That amuses me. Where do you see it? There you are. Look, Mr. Mime's over there. Go see if it's really making walls. you <laughs> okay that was far easier than anything else <laughs> it's trying to run again wait you well I can't go any further that's definitely something here I can't see what is it mr. mime looks like something's got you in a panic what rest you know this mr. mime yeah it helps me guard the gate sometimes when it stands out in front, it does that eerie dance while Pokemon can't get in. It's like there's some kind of invisible wall. It's docile and it helps me with my job, so I just let it do as it pleases. Who would have thought? <laughs> Sorry to make you go to all that trouble, but it brought me some peace of mind, if anything else. If we've got invisible walls cropping up here and there, folks had better keep an eye out. Or perhaps not an eye. Well, <laughs> however one watches out for invisible obstacles. <laughs> my man! Neat. Slowly but surely, we bring peace to people, knowing that Pokemon and people can live together in harmony. 
mostly in harm, but in harmony. And uh, what other Pokemon dealies can we do? I don't think there's that many others. Oh yeah, Shallows of East and West. So I should be able to turn this in too. About your request, I think I have the Shelloses. The Shellosai. Oh, you want to see that one first? Here's the pink one. You could have just... <laughs> don't know why it kicked me out of the entire thing. Here you go. It's quite beyond me why Shellos would have different colors, but it's absolutely charming that they change things up depending on where they live. We here in Jubilee Village have also journeyed far from where we used to live. Maybe a change in the color of our clothing is what we'd need, just like Shellos. Yes, I've got it! I took advantage of the inspiration I was feeling and expanded my lineup. I'd very much be pleased if you would have a look. So much questing to be done. Slowly but surely, we'll bring the people and Pokemon together. What do you need, dude? Your sister wander off again? There you are, I've been looking for you. My sister Wanda went off to the Cobalt Coastlands and she never came back. I've asked her fellows of the security corps to be on the lookout, but they haven't found her. I'm so worried. Do you think you can find her? You can use that old kerchief of hers again if you need to track her down. Please find Wanda again for me. Heck, <laughs> gone astray again in the coastlands. There's some quests on the board. Eevee's evolutions. Floro of the Construction Corps is looking for some advice about evolving his Eevee. Lend an ear to the old chap and see if he can be of assistance. There are some requests on the board. The Taste of Honey. Almos of the Ar Agriculture Corps thinks he's discovered something about Combi's honey. Speak to the good fellow and help him out with his research. So much research to be had! And now we're gonna go down into the basement. Because we need to talk to the diddly-doo guy. Hello, dude. I have things for you pop-up pods. Oh, if it isn't the Survey Corps recruit who quelled the Lady of the Ridge. What can I do for you? You're running errands for Joy again. Sending a customer to negotiate for him once was bad enough, but twice? Where's his spine? Pestering me for goods when I'm already tearing my hair out trying to get pop pods? Sheesh. Oh, I need them in my fucking inventory. Mm. I don't know why some are like, oh yes, here, and other times they need to be in your inventory. It is very silly. Now I need to run to the box. Run to the box, run to the box. Run to the box. Alright, I need, uh, pop pods. And I guess I can take these to sell. Pods, pop pods, I guess I'll take that too. Where are the bloody pop pods? Ah, pop pods. And what was the other things for the other guy? Swap snacks. Sootfoot, springy, and hoppoberry. Springy. I guess I'll take that as well. You. Springy and Sootfoot. Alright. I should be able to give it to you. But still, it's super cool that I am able to make star bits now. Halo, my dude. I've got them right here. Wait, I thought I had them. Dude. Game. Maybe I didn't have an, a hoppo berry? Diddly dang game. I thought that was what a hoppo berry was. Nope. I mixed them up. I saw yellow and was just like, this has to be it. Just let me do it from my inventory extra boxes. Ah!
Is that me turret from my boxes? My boxes! Either let me carry everything around, or let me do things from my box. Especially when sometimes you let me do things from my box and other times you don't. If you brought me, I do, my dude. So how about it? I'm ready to learn. You handed over the soot foot, and the springy mushroom, and the hoppo berry. Then learn from the master. Not so masterful when it's a thing nobody likes. You've obtained Swap Snack. When eaten, this curious snack temporarily swaps a Pokemon's offensive stats with its defensive stats. Huh. Well, that isn't just a typical of our famed Survey Corps recruit. Took it to like Finian to water. Swap Snacks seem to swap around a Pokemon's offensive stats and defensive stats for a time. It's a curious sort of mix-up. Not at all what I was expect going for, but life serves up kinds of surprises. And your Survey Corps folk end up in fighting against all sorts of Pokemon, don't you? If anyone can find good use for my Swap Snacks, I'm sure it would be someone like you. Alright, I'm probably never going to use that, though. And now we can head down. And give him the Pop Pods. And expand the inventory again. Yo, bastard, I have your, your bloody pods. Wait, you've got pop pods? Would you let me have some? Please, just three. I have specifically for you, my dude. Ah, uh, pop pods, the Cobalt Coast, that's finest feature. You'll often find these fine sea vegetables washed ashore. They're best known as a key ingredient in scatterbangs. These lovely items for scaring off Pokemon. All right, I won't send you back to Choya Failure since you kindly brought me these pod pods. Tell him I'll set up something with him, some new wares. And let's see what is available there, and then I can also sell my nuggets. My nuggets. <gasps> my wonderful nug nugs. I did it, my dude. We've got new goods in stock, thanks to you. I know all this caused you some bother. I do hope he and I can thaw things out at last. But thanks to you, we've got excellent new items on our shelves. Do buy some. Let's see. Now I can buy a bunch of things directly, which I love. At least this means that if I ever run into things that I need... Uh, I don't have to super worry. Wait. Dear God. That better not be how many key items there are in this game. <laughs> or maybe that's just how many key items you can have at once. And they're just like, just in case somebody's insane enough to actually go and get all the key items at once. Then we're ready. I could see that as well. Special defense. I forgot to sell my nuggets. I've got brilliant golden balls. Alright, that's gonna let me upgrade my inventory a bit. Or just do a massive amount of, uh, all right. I will do... Okay. Please be the last one, honestly. How much? One more. One more and then I'm gonna buy, like, other things. Because, dear God, you're just a money sink. And the next one, 19? No, 20,000. Jesus Christ. And to think you started out teaching me at 100. Now we're at 20,000. The markup. It never ends. I did it, sir. I learned the res earned the respect of another noble. And I even helped uh, ingratiate ourselves towards the other noble. And even made a noble itself. You did well on our mission to the Cobalt Coastlands. Your efforts there aided not only the Galaxy Team, but the Pearl Clan as well. 
I do hope your efforts will also have an impact on the space-time rift somehow. If we are able to get rid of that rift, it should clear any lingering doubts about your origins. Though how we might actually close the rift, I haven't the slightest idea. Remain true to the mission. Woot woot. I haven't seen you in a bit, Ray. Where have you been? If you notice that today's potato mochi tastes a bit different, well, that's because I used a Pokemon's flames to roast them. Bon appetit. Ingratiating Pokemon into this world. The birth of a new Pokemon Lord. What a sight that must have been. If only I journeyed to Fire Spit Island to witness the event myself. Could you even ride on Basculegion in the first place, Professor? Oh, come now. You know my coordination is so poor, I couldn't even hit my own foot with a Pokeball. And I can't dodge Pokemon attacks so quite literally to save my own skin. Of course, I can't possibly ride atop a fearsome beast like Basculegion. That being said, we'd all do well to remember these wise words. The ever-striving soul is rewarded in the end, and strive I shall. For the sake of my research, I will surely ride a Pokemon one day and record the experience in our Pokedex for all posterity. Just you watch. The next day. Ah, who are you? Mr. Raggedy Ann? Good morning, good lady, who came from the sky. Commander Commando told me to let you know he awaits your arrival in his office. Who the hell are you, Mr. Torncoat? Hello, Amadon. Neon, I have your next orders. You must go to the Coronet Islands to quell another frenzied noble. Electrode, Lord of the Hollow. Electrode has a pos propensity to store up electricity in his body, then unleash it. But since Electrode became frenzied, those electrical outbursts have become giant blasts. Hmm. We'll be enlisting the Pearl Clan's aid in securing your safe passage to Electrode's seat. I've sent word ahead to Irida asking... No! You don't have permission to go up the- Oh, save it as if it'll stop the likes of you! Now out of my way! Uh, I'm a guessing Electrode's Warden, or the Diamond- a different Warden of that area? Hey ho, boss man, Kamado! I thought it might have slipped your mind to send me an invite, so I took the liberty of stopping by anyway. Melly, where are your manners? We're having an important conversation. Well, there's your issue right there, Adamin. How exactly did you intend to discuss Electrode without me? It's Mighty Warden here to weigh in. There's no more to discuss. We've already asked Neon to quell the Lord of the Hollow. Ah, oh, come on. Is it me you're trying to humiliate here or our entire clan? Besides, do you really think this flimsy little noodle can quell Electrode? Commander, I'm sincerely sorry for this he heedless interruption. Pay it no mind. It seems even Security Corps personnel I train myself cannot stop one so capable as Warden Melly. That being said... Yes? It is clear that the Security Corps needs even further rounds of training from me later. Hear that, Melly? The Security Corps will sob themselves to sleep tonight thanks to you. The commander's sumo moves can send even boulders flying. Hmm. Now, now, that'll do. Neon, you have your orders. See to it that Electrode is quelled. Warden Melly, of course, would we would appreciate your help if there's anything you might assist with. Now go. I have sir security cord to break. Listen, Melly, the Galaxy team, well, at least Neon, is amazing, and will prove it. Follow me outside. Ooh, I get to fight Adamin. Ha! 
battle adamant to prove my power. All right, Neon. Go around with me. You bet. Mary, make sure you watch closely now. He's standing inside the child. Air slime! Destroy! Of course, that means the Eevee goes twice. Oh crap, it wants to go strong. Adorable. Annihilate with Aura Sphere. Bye bye, Eevee. Woot woot. You see how good Neon is now, yes? No more sneering at her. Hmm. Now I think our helper from the Pearl Clan was going to meet you at the training grounds once you're ready. To later, Neon! Glad to have your help as always. Melly, shift yourself, unless you want to get even more of an earful than you're already due for. <laughs> I love the expressions. Aw, oh, come on, Adamant. Cut me some slack here. Neon. Join me in the Survey Corps office. We'll go over the particulars of your mission. My particulars is kicking ass. Your survey work will take you to the Coronet Highlands next. You'll be on the Rift's doorstep. There's no telling what perils await. Your current rank qualifies you to conduct research in the Coronet Highlands. But you will need help from the particular person to survey and ultimately quell this electrode. Go to the training grounds. You should find them there. I love that there's just like so much to do and so much opens up. Love it. Let me guess. He's being an ass even more. Oh, it's my most valued customer. I was just hoping you'd come by. I need new goods again? Yes, it's the same business all over again. Tao Hua just refuses to supply any new goods to me. I suppose you must be wondering why he refuses any time I try to deal with him directly. Well, let's just say he has his reasons. Please speak to Tao Hua for me, would you? I imagine you'll have better luck if you bribe him some, with some crunchy salt as a, good, as a gesture of goodwill. Perhaps three hunks to be safe? Uh, no, that's not quite right. It just needs a little extra something. Ah, just the girl I need. I could use some help coming up with new hairstyles. I've got a real wall here. A Pokemon who would be great for inspiration. I bet right now I'm picturing, yeah, Miss Drevis. If I could study a Miss Drevis up close, I'm sure I'd come up with some amazing new hairstyles. If you manage to catch a Miss Drevis, bring it here so I can have a look, okay? And what Pokemon do you need now for inspiration? If I may, would you please, if you expanded the variety of clothes I carry? Definitely. To seek new clothing is the true calling of any fashion-conscious person, after all. But I need some inspiration to come up with new designs. I'd like to see the Pokemon Wormadon. Oh, I already have one. Neat. I have it here somewhere. At least I thought I did. It said that I have one. Blame the game, not me. Ah, uh, there you are. So that's what's known as a plant cloak. It's as if Wormadam has become one of the one flush nature of Musui. I never knew Pokemon were capable of such things. Yes, I've got it. Yes, I've got it. I would be very pleased if you would have a look at the latest addition to my clothes. Yeah. Well, let's take a look and see what you have in stock, my lady. 
So many hats. Warm caps. Handkerchief. Or head or headkerchief. Headbands. Festival masks. But nothing quite like. Ooh, snow jacket. Ooh, the snow jacket looks good. If I have one that can match... Hmm. Yes. New clothing. Need good, yes. <sighs> Great, now this is also draining my wallet. Well, actually, let's see. Karate geese. And just tailor suits. <laughs> Ankle boots. Ah, snow boots. Let's see if they're in the proper... Eh, the, the brown kind of gets in the way. So the black... Hmm, but then it's... Kind of. But it kind of goes together as well. Snow goggles. Ooh. They actually look cool. But I like my mask. Now I shall go on a rampage. But let's see. What kind of styles do you have with uh, have for me? Well, let's see. Neat. Ah, oh, there's actually not that many. Not that many profound sadness. Confirm. I want to just... Kind of annoying that you have to come in here and pay 500 pokey dollars just to be like, ah, there's not that much new profound sadness. Oh, that's kind of rude. I just wanted to get out of there. Now I'm going to have to go put my mask on. She stole my mask! Now I have to put it back on again! There we go. But hopefully in this next area, I'll run into uh, the Zorua line. And definitely add to everything. How many... Oh, there's one more in there as well. So many requests. So many requests, Mark. Uh, what am I gonna do? At this rate, I'll make real fool of myself in front of Conlan. Ah, uh, hello. You want those kids from the Survey Corps, right? Ah, you might actually be just the person I need to help me with my little research. My boy Conlan and I are planning to head to the Prelude Beach at night to try and find the ghosts that are rumored to haunt the place. But ghosts scare the daylights out of me, uh, my son. Yep, he's terrified of them. You'd think we could just not go and call it a day, but no, I'm afraid he's a little hard set on this. But, uh, you know, a fellow can't stay scared of ghosts forever, right? It's just too tragic for my boy, I mean. 
So maybe if I study up on ghosts, I can find a way to help my boy conquer his fears. If you got any research data on spooky Pokemon, Ghastly would be a good one. I might, I'd be mighty grateful if you'd shared it with me. Is let's take a look. I'm not sure. Oh! Togepi appears in the Crimson Marland. Interesting. Ghastly, ghastly. Ghastly is completed, so... We can talk to you right now. Oh, I got lots of data on Ghastly, have you? Let's see. So it's all recorded in this Pokedex of yours, alright then? Mushrooms, eh? Well, I'll be. It's just here that Ghastly likes to eat mushrooms, of all things. Not that that's a bad thing, mind. It's just a lot more tame than I was expecting. And here's what I was thinking that ghosts love nothing more than a snack on unsuspecting humans. You know, it's funny. I'm actually rather partial to nice mushrooms stew myself. Maybe ghastly aren't so ghastly after all. Hey, Dad, what you doing? Ah, Codlan! You're talking about work again? Don't forget, you gotta take a day off tomorrow. You promised you'd take me to see the ghosties at Prelude Beach, remember? Uh, of course your old dad remembers, kiddo. And I'd never let my work get in the way of our ghost hunt. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm gonna catch a ghostie and show it to all my friends. Bye! You know, I was just putting on a brave face because you were here. <laughs> anyway, I owe you one, kid. I get the feeling my boy will be just fine tomorrow. Linking cord? A string. It's loved by certain Pokemon. Interesting. Let's see. What Pokemon do you want to steal from me today? Nice to see you again, Miss Survey Corps. You got great timing as always. I want to make the fields even bigger, see? But there's some boulders sitting right in the way. If your Linda's a Pokemon that can smash him to pieces of Rock Smash, we'd be mighty grateful. Sure, I should have something. Ah, you can have my chop. Your Pokemon will sure be a big help in expanding the fields. Might as well get started. Wowee! Your Pokemon pulverized those pesky boulders like they were yesterday's gravel. Now I'm all pumped up, sit back. Old Miller's gonna make the fields bigger than ever. Woot woot. And I'm all done. Now this place is four fields. That was some fine work. Any crops we plant here will do great. And it's all thanks to you two. We'll keep your Pokemon here to help out the field work a while longer. Just give a holler if you want to swap a different Pokemon to do the Rock Smash. More fields available for the farming. And I think that's all the fields, so yeah, I think we're nearing the end of the game-ish. Let's see... Berry Harvest, Mint Harvest, Medicinal Harvest, probably Medicinal Harvest still. Then we'll come over here for our battle against this person. Ah, uh, Irida again. I look forward to conducting you on this endeavor. Hello, Neon. This gentleman is Warden Ingo. He serves Sneasler. He will guide you to her domain. Pleased to properly meet you. I apologize for that abrupt how do you do before. I am the Warden Ingo. I understand you'll need a hand from Sneasler in order to meet Electrode. Whether she'll see fit to help you, however, we can only find out by making the journey. Now let's have a safe journey to Mount Cornet. All aboard! Ingo's a bit like you, you know. Oh, like me? <laughs> he appeared one day from who knows where. What's more, much of his memory seems to be missing. Maybe traveling with you will help fill in some of the gaps in his memory. Interesting. In any case, I'm glad to see uh, have your help count on what to, to count. <laughs> I'm glad to have your help to count on once again, Neon. Good luck up in the Highlands. 
Oh, I thought we were gonna fight. Disappointment! Let's see, any new Pokemon to... No, no. Any new moves that he can learn? Nope, oh, still about the same. What can you learn? 11 feet tall, Jesus. You can freaking learn Psychic. Normal types are scary. They can have everything. Oh yeah, I forgot, I got a Piplup. I have so many Pokemon that I want to do things with. To level them up, teach them moves. Hmm. But I guess wall wa ba wa wall. Wall wall wa wa wall 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 wa wa wall wall. I've got to see to something quick here. Let's see. I want to quickly look over my unknown notes. Turn your eyes up at the Volcano Island. So we'll definitely there. Look at the ruined pillars of Celestica among stumps and campfires and fields of gold. We already did that. Complete. A lone tree in a pond in a grove. Stony outcrop and pools a mighty mountain. Atop the waterfall, we'll need to go there. The lake in the island where emotion resides. A nook within a quarry. Where stone piles high amid fog-bound ruins, an impasse in a cave adorned by twin falls, a tree felled in sludge, two horns rising from the sea. We got you. Completed. Three pillars in a world of ice. That's going to be coming up next. Among flowers in the spring, two trees by spring, the grave upon the cape. Hmm. By the grave upon the cape. Uh, where a stick and log dam the river. We got you. Gaze down from atop the greatest glacial legacy. That'll be next. The unusual stone staring out across the snowfields. A withered tree. A time-worn ship on a sandy shore. Already did that. Dead tree by the hot spring where things hang to dry at the living quarters. We still haven't found you. So many to look for. When it comes to the unknowns. I guess that'll do it for me. see anybody else only inside well let's see what the inside has to say and then I think at least for some of these oh yeah I forgot then we have to actually highlight and talk to people the seas legend a report has been filed concerning the sighting of a mysterious Pokemon Ah, jolly good choice there, Neon. I see you've taken on that request I posted. You're a huh? Let me fill you in right away, then. I was strolling along Prelude Beach the other day when I saw something swimming a little way out from the shore. Rather regrettably, it disappeared before I could snap a picture, but I can only assume this mysterious swimmer was some sort of Pokemon. From the way it swam, it seemed to be drifting on the ocean currents. Now, if I'm not mistaken, from the seas behind Jubilee, they would take all the way to Cobalt Coastlands. This le rather leaves me wondering if the Pokemon was headed there for some specific purpose. I want to know. I wonder what it is. Given the circumstances, I was thinking that if we spoke to the good Warden Isken of the Diamond Clan, we might learn more. Alright, that'll be interesting to do. Oh, we brought him in. I got your message, Professor Lavington. So, uh, you're looking for a Pokemon that was swimming towards the Kobo coastlands, yes? Well, I'm very sorry, but I can't tell you much based on that alone. But, well, there is one thing I can tell you. I've heard that long ago, the Kobold Coastlands was known as the East Sea, and a princely Pokemon was said to live in the waters there. The story of this Pokemon can be found in the tome called The Sea's Legend, but no one knows much about either that tome or its tale beyond what I've just told you. So, uh, that's all I know. I guess I wasn't much help after all. Sorry about that. I'll just take my leave here, then. Solve the mystery of the sea's legend and catch the Pokemon that Professor Lavenden saw. Well, crap, now I want that. So many, so many requests. 
Don't know where you are. I'll probably look up where to get Cherim and just catch it. <laughs> or level up its prelude some other uh, on my own time. Eerie apparitions. We need to talk to the la uh, the girl. Search for bitter leaf. Uh, yeah, let's let's talk to the bitter leaf person. Talk to the girl. See, get what rewards I can from however many I acquired. Talk to the bitter leaf because I caught a few Pokemon that were leaf based, so maybe one of them will be it in the Crimson Mirelands. There's 75 more lists to find. Since you've gathered now 20, here's a little thank you present. If you gather 30, haven't you? Please take this as well. Duskstone. Neat. If you find eight more, I'll give you a reward. So it seems like every 10 ish, I get a reward. I wonder what it could be. The three leafed Pokemon from the Mirelands. Hmm, check summary. No, you don't look three-leafed. Check summary of Bidu. No, it doesn't look three-leafed. You look kind of three-leafed. Three leaves atop its head. Okay, so it's specifically atop the head. Of the Pokemon. Nope. Well, I guess I don't have it. It's probably part of that Cherim line of evil. Might be it. This technically has three leaves. Just tell me what you what its name is, you bumbling boom. We need crunchy salt, Mistavius. Ride on Ursula to follow the blue signals to locate Wanda. Speak about his request, the taste of honey. Hopefully he doesn't want me to have the honey on hand. Listen, I've been gathering combi honey for work, and I'm starting to think that their honey's flavor varies between groups of combi. I'd like to look into differences more, but that means collecting honey from combi hives in all sorts of areas, and that's a bit too much for a lone fella. That's where you come in. I'd love if you could bring combi from three different areas. First, get me combi from Grueling Grove, would you? Do I have one? Would it work? Don't have the desired Pokemon. At least it tells me straight out. Unlike the other one! Getting help from Machoke. We need to fill out the Pokedex. Poor Peckish Peplop. We need to make a bean cake. All right, let's talk to Floro. Ah, you again. Ah, uh, stars above. Where's he's gone? So they call kid. Listen, remember the Eevee I befriended with the help of some Jubilee muffins? Well, he's vanished. I was hoping to get some advice on evolving him, but he can't evolve the little guy if he's gone. Please help me find Eevee. Come to think of it, the folks working at Galaxy Hall were always fussing over, over Eevee. Maybe they'd be a good place to start looking. 
Did they kidnap the Eevee? People over at Galaxy Hall. I wonder if it means in Galaxy Hall. I need to hunt down people, beat them up. Oh yeah, there is an Eevee up there, on the second floor. I completely forgot. I am very stupid. Ah, you evolved into an Umbreon, the Eevee that was stationed here. Eevee? Oh, I guess not, my mistake. Seems like Eevee's not here either. But something about this Pokemon reminds me of good little Eevee. No, no, it must be my imagination. What's that? Hungry, are we? Survey Corps kid, would you make uh, me a true belief muffin? If I can wash this Pokemon shroud down like Eevee did, maybe I'll understand this nagging feeling I get a look. I need to make it. Do I have the... everything I need to make the muffin? I don't think so. I need to go to a... <laughs> ah, everyone wants me to make everything. Alright, I need to make a bean cake. I need to make a diddly dee. Need to make bean cake. Need to make a um, jubilee muffin. Okay, one jubilee muffin. One bean cake. So I guess they did kidnap the Eevee and evolved it into Umbreon by accident. Here you go. Enjoy a Jubilee muffin. Adorable Umbreon. Look at it chowed down. It really is the spitting image of Eevee when it does that. Or could it somehow be the real Eevee? Eevee, it is you. I missed you, little rascal. Never thought you'd evolve on your own. Though I suppose the professor did mention how Eevee can evolve even without any stone at all. Suppose I haven't got much use for now for these evolution stones I'd set aside for Eevee. I'd like you to have one of them, little lady. Which would you like? I guess a fire stone. Because I already have bunches of them. Righty. What else is on the mission platter? I guess next uh, we'll just quickly head off, try to catch a dust call in the middle of the night, and uh, give the bean bun to the piplop. Ah, there's so much to do. I basically just want to go and do as much as I can here so that I can then focus on just uh, doing what I want. But there's this area over here. So, I guess some parts will go unused, like this area since it seems a bit small and doesn't have many features besides this river. But then Mount Coronet will probably be this area. We can't go scaling from this side, so we have to go here or something. I don't know. But yeah. We'll head here. Probably should have gone to the other camp. Oh, well. Ooh, woo. Let's see. 
Uh, we'll grab the satchels on our way to there. There's a satchel up here, that I know. Alright, then we'll head down there, grab that, head there, wait until nightfall, and uh, beg to God. Because, of course, the one Pokemon I'm having trouble getting... Oh, yeah. And there'll also be that uh, Prince of the Sea Pokemon out here. I guess while I'm out here, I can go ahead... Ah, uh, it's not marked. Pity. Maybe it'll show up at the... Diddly. I wonder what Pokemon it will be. For God's sakes, in this world, Electrode can be a noble. <laughs> can you imagine that? A noble Electrode. On it, satchel. Maybe it'll be in that cave. That's where it will definitely be. It'll be in that cave that had nothing in it last we saw. Quit attacking my Pokemon, bastard. Fast turd. We shall go on to land where none shall follow. But that's definitely where it will be. All right, well, first things first, we're going to go. Camera, get in front of me, you bastard. Got exactly what we need. Here's the bean cake. Great, actually, why don't you give it to Piplup? Let it eat out of your hands. Why not eat out of your hands? Piplup is happy. Or is it? Nope, yeah, there we go. Wonderful, it really seems to like that bean cake. Pip, please? Oh, wow, it ate the whole thing already. It's got quite the appetite, that's for sure. It's quite taken a like. I've quite taken a liking to the little Piplup. And I don't think it's safe to let it wander around. I'll bring it back to the village and take care of it. Nice. Got high proportions out of it. All right. Next, we'll wait until night. Until night, and then we're gonna freaking go and catch a Duskull. I should have waited until. Well, at the same time, they might come out in evening, and then it will give me more time to maybe catch the damn things. Go ahead and lost and found all of these. Oh, hey, I can probably get a Dawnstone for, uh,. Making Lancelot into a Gallade. And I guess while we're waiting for the Drifloon army to come out, I will head out to try and catch that, uh... Twin-tailed one. That twin-tailed one that person wants. Ah, Manteen. I'll try and catch the Manteens to make this. 
Booyah. Uh, yeah, got away. At least I got a man tyke. Oh, nope, there's another one. There's a man team. Ah, uh, Try and catch you. Try again. Dang it. And I'll probably yeah, disappear. Nope, not dealing with you. The twin tailed uh, Pokemon should be out here. Nope, you're Finian. Not the twin tail. Maybe it comes out at night. Try. My bad. It didn't go for it entirely. That's what I figured. Let's try and fight. Oi, fight! Oh, that's not good at all. Yeah, that's not good at all. Use Leaf Blade, because you'll need all the help you can get. Ah, crap. It's going to do super damage. Yeah, you're a bastard, aren't you? That's what you are. You're a bastard. Send out Gyarados. Might as well try. Ha! Huh, it actually worked. That's amusing. That amuses me. Why do so many non-flying Pokemon no flying moves, though? That's the real question. It's just that I am a fish, and today I shall learn a flying move. The species that has feasted upon me and my brethren will no longer do it. Oh, and there's grit dust. Ah, uh, because I don't have room in my pack. Anyway, go ahead and use. How about all of them? Booyah. And now we're going to go ahead and head down here. Try and do it from the coast. Dang it! You saw fucking nothing. Don't you dare. Ah. The super bastard is over there. Probably also level 60-ish. Finally. Alright. So that's another quest that is now complete. We're gonna go ahead and put things away in the big chest. To make room for everything. Make room, make room, make room. Then I put a 
away the frickin' potions. Hyper potions can stay. Next on the list. Checking out that cave. What'll it be? I don't know. Could be a Gyarados. No, no, it could be a Gyarados. Could be that crystal Gyarados from the anime. Maybe Lugia, but I doubt it. We haven't run into a legendary Pokemon this entire time, come to think of it. It'd be very interesting to run into a legendary Pokemon, but yeah, we haven't. I don't even know if we've run into a pseudo-legendary or not. Now we have to fly by this one a bit more. That's just the pass-through that has the etchings of the legendary Pokemon on it that I'm going to go over and super enhance at the end. So what the hell is in here? Because it has to be here. Well, I guess not. I'm wrong. Well, I thought it would have to be special. We haven't even run into a Rialu yet, and I'm sad now. Then where else could it be? Let's see. The Sea's Legend. Solve the mystery of the Sea's Legend and catch the Pokemon that the Professor saw. But where do I go from there? Wait. Yeah, that's just the... Don't really have much else to go on. I thought it would be in the cave. Because I thought it would serve a purpose. Wish that would give me a hint as to where to go. Maybe going through the... Diddly D with the carvings might help. Because carvings. Shiny. Get in the ball, you're shiny apparently. Beat up the Burmy, make it scream. Maybe it has to be with the horns? Maybe the horns have to do something with... It can't be the in Ray or well, the Alpha Gyarados. I'm trying to think. Where else could it be? Because there's no other caves. There's Fire Spit Cave, Spring Path, maybe Hideaway Bay? But we already went to Hideaway Bay. But we didn't. Hmm, but we didn't, didn't... I don't know. 
that way seems undiscovered, so... I don't know. We'll fast travel down there. Seek things out. Check things out over here. Check out Hideaway Bay a bit. Then we'll go and I don't know. Why are you level 42, you madman? I hate you. Why can you do that? Why does everything want to murder my Sneasel? Random out of the blue, high level Wormadon. I just want Cherum. And raise my Sneasel from the dead once more. Oh, uh, nothing there, and it doesn't look like there'll be anything over here either. Yep, we can't go any further. Then... There's nothing in the Seaside Hollow. So I guess we'll teleport there and try out those... Islands far away, I don't know. I wish there was a hint. Just a little hint to help us on our way. All we know is that it's over here somewhere. Maybe I should have looked at the ocean? Yeah, because maybe if we went to the beach first, we would have gotten seen a tent. We tried to tell this game. But at least I have two quests, that, uh, requests that I can turn in. I can turn in the Dust Skull request and the Twin Tailed Fish request. Guys, ah, shut up. Doesn't seem to be much over here. And I doubt there's anything behind the volcano. Oh, oh. Tentacruel being angry. Oh, hey, artillery. What level are you? Level 42. Ah. Okay. And you're the non-alpha version. Yeah, surely you'll survive. Ah, 
Ah, oh, you did. Good for you. Now that's just very rude. Hydra Pump looks frickin' scary in this game. Hopefully it's not one of those catch-without-being-seen Pokemons. But yeah, I just, I don't know. Maybe check the cave now that it's daytime? Because surely there has to be something with the cave, and considering that it's like, oh, Pokemon, Prince, Legend, it should be in a freaking cave. But I've, there's probably more to it. Maybe I need to talk to the Warden guy again, but out here... Maybe I need to follow up on the Diamond Clan. Surely <laughs> something. I don't know. It's a big cave. You'd think something would be there. But I don't know. See if I can talk to the warden again. Nothing happens. We'll go check out the diamond clan in the mire. I'm trying to think. Home invasion time. Oh, he's not here. Huh. I wonder if those two should look familiar. That kind of... Nah, I'm trying to think. No idea why they would have... Pictures of people. They'd have to mean something, I think. Alright, then maybe go... up to the cape? Let's take a look all the way at the cape. Is it just, uh... Yeah, I think it's just that one. Still being angry. And we still have to... worry about that there. The choke and his perfection dealy. Which will probably just come down to leveling up a bunch of Machops. And then beating up that one again and again with Psycho Cutter. Maybe I could go and try and level up the... Or not level up, but catch the Alpha Alakazam. How dare you knock me off my giant policy. Oh. Well, now I just feel bad to catch it. Because it'd feel like I'm catching... Wait, by the grave at the cape. Here is the spirit of the Lord of Isles, the great and noble Arcanine. An unknown is around here. found something fruitful in all this. I'm just 
was trying to think. Where the hell would I maybe follow up with the... The closest I can think of is following up with the... Following up with the diamond plan. I just don't know. Let's take a look at it again. The Sea's Legend, and I get three Comet Shards for it. Hmm. The Pokemon that Professor Leviton saw in the ocean might be connected to the Pokemon that appears in the Sea's Legend. Solve the mystery of the Sea's Legend and catch the Pokemon that Professor Leviton saw. Okay. Um... Alright. We're gonna go ahead, head back home. I'll quickly run to the beach, see if there's anything at the beach that... Because he said that he saw something at the beach, so I should follow up on that. See if I see anything at the beach. I keep throwing out all of my bloody diddly dee. Didn't catch that many. But I got lots of money for it, and I like it. Because I'm a sixth star member. Ah, we finished Eevee, I guess. Let's return to the village. I will go to the ocean in the village, see if anything's there. Because that's where he said that he first saw it. We'll go there, see if we see anything. We don't see anything, we'll go to the Mirelands and uh, talk about to uh, all the diamond people. See if they have anything to say. Oh, hey, there's a traveler. They might say something. Hello, person. Mercy, what a treasure this wide open land is. I'm glad I followed my family out here and got to see it. I doubt I'll stay quiet and empty for long. Nope. Just a wonky rock that keeps loading and unloading. Interesting. Wish that I could use my Pokemon. Nope, can't go there. But there are here Pokemon. I don't know what it is. And I can't use my Ridey Pokemon here. Wonder what Pokemon it is. I'm terrible up here at telling by cry. Well, nothing here, so we're gonna go to the gate. Go to the Mirelands. I want to go to the Mirelands. Probably should have gone to the bog camp because it's closer. But, but I'm tired. And uh, we can at the very least go to that island. And even see what's over there. So, lot to explore today. Caught you, so we care about you. So the first things first is we're gonna head to the camp. Second things second, we're going to head to the like the waterfalls and stuff. Explore the rivers a little bit. 
if only to give me justification to come back and uh, explore to my heart's content later. Let's see. Probably should have found a better route here, but hey. Booyah. And then another raging onyx has probably appeared up there in the meantime. Maybe. Okay, let's talk to everyone. Just gonna talk to everyone, basically. Blah, blah, blah. I wanna... Surely somebody has to know about this legend. Hmm. And this game is so new that probably not that many people even know what the hell my mission is. Downside to playing new games, if I get stuck, I can't look things up. Yeah, just Pearl Clan, Diamond Clan, Nobles, blah. Did I go into this one? I don't know, my brain's mush. Nobody's talking about the legendary diddly dop, so I guess let's try and head towards uh, the thing over here. Let's head to this island. is that? Wish cash. A very angry wish cash. No, I don't think there's any unknown here. I hate the fog. Did he bring it in? Is that a move by wish cash to bring the fog in? Maybe. And then there's an angry carnivine. Oh, and an angry Vespa Queen. running away. I need you to level up in the cherim, I think. At least I found this place that I can pick apart to my heart's content at any point now. Oh, look at this place. Almost hurts to look at. That's a little. At least I'm getting large candies. To super level up Pokemon. Pachirisu. Togepi! Why'd you look onto that one? 
sure you locked onto the wrong one, stupid game. Why would I want to lock onto a Pachirisu? They're not interesting. Well, at least we're exploring this area. Then we'll have to go to the... What's it called? The... Challenge or whatever. The trial area. Ah, there's a giant Yanman here. Don't really care to try my luck with you. Just yet. Mostly just want to look around, explore. There's a lot down here. Super interesting. First rank. Just like a top. Pick up a plant. Yo, that's a turret twig. I oh, didn't want to fight. Darn you. At least now I know where to find a turd twig. I at the very least came across it. Which means now it's open to being found. Second giant uh, alpha Ursa ring that I've run into in this place. And it's still goddamn foggy. At least I got more ghosts. So yeah, basically, just wandering about all the places I've already been to give me justification to wander around them in my own time. So I can just uh, super explore things. Kind of annoying that they have contact damage. Wait, what are you? Ah, Goomies and the giant fucking what the hell. Okay, this is the Goomy army area. Might come back here to catch some Goomy. Get up there. Darn the... Guess I could try and go back and capture a few Goomy. Well, now we're, Unless they're, uh... Nope. Well, that's gonna be a bit mean, trying to... Get that while that's there. Mine. And what are you? A Sligu. Well, at least I got the spirit. More Petalil. Wait. Ah, Petalil! That's the Pokemon they want for that, so we have you too. So, Duskull, Petalil, there's just like so many little things, so many little quests that we've done, we're gonna have to look through and be like, okay, through my random swamping, did I finally get it? <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. They're all a bunch of very angry little dudes. Uh, 
Okay, there's a giant crow gunk. Yoink. And a giant gas blade. Ah, we're in the Pachirisu land. Just trying to look for more of the spirit orbs to make Spiritomb. Kind of interesting that they decide to make Spiritomb into a side thing. You want a Spiritomb? You need to work for it. Well, hey, that might make people whose favorite Pokemon is Spiritomb kind of happy. In a way. Alright, but now I want to try something. I'm going to see if I can go up the waterfall. Science. And then we're going to head back. Oh yeah, we never really came this way, I think. Ah, perfect. Even gave me uh, the ability to survey that spirit. Yep. Yoink. More spirit for me. Let's see. Do you know Waterfall? Look at that waterfall. Nope, you cannot go up waterfalls. That's disappointing. I can't believe that this Pokemon doesn't know an HM move. That's a little disappointing, but oh well. By the way, we've kind of explored most of the area. Ish, ish. Tiddlywinks. We didn't explore up that river. Let's explore up that river. Let's explore up that river. The more that we explore, the more that we can do. Oh, fuck off. That's stupid. <laughs> it wasn't even jiggling. No, it doesn't seem like there's anything here. Interesting. And now a space-time rift is forming, but... They take so long to form. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna... I think I will skip out on this one. Purely because they take way too long to form. Just way too, way too long to form. Return to the village. We can turn in the three leaf one. And grind away a bit for Cherum. Wrong button. Oh yeah, I forgot. We also need to look for her in the coastlands. Oh, and the... Double Tails lady. I got your Pokemon. It's a alpha at that, so you better be happy. 
I found a lot more spirits as well. 69 more to go. Ah, two more and you'll give me a reward. And these buildings are finished. Hey, I forgot. I completely butchered the auto-added twin tails, twin tails. It should be... I guess after you. There we are. Oh, it's not the one you're after. What the hell? Twin tail water Pokemon. Guess I'll look up the answer to you. Maybe. I don't know. I just want to complete things. Taste of honey. Eerie apparitions. Search for better leaves. Got the Pokemon you wanted. Could have just called it by its name, Pitlil. You jerks. I finally did, because I saw through your bullshit. And I know what Pokemon it is. They should appear before Gumi. Where do they appear? Because I know I got some. I get that there. Pet Lil. Ah, yes, there's no mistaking these lovely leaves. This precious darling is one we need. Now then, Pet Lil, my dear, would you be so kind as to share a few leaves with us? Hello again. Did you find the plant I asked you for? Ah, a Pokemon? Oh my, it seems we've been discovered. Pet Lil is just sharing its leaves so we can make our medicine, Shinon. No need to panic. But, but, huh? The medicine greens come from this? This Pokemon the whole time? You know how scared I am of Pokemon? I'm sorry, but I just can't make this medicine anymore. Ah, this phobia of yours has gone on long enough. Pokemon scare you because you know nothing of them, yes? But your ignorance should worry you far more than the unknown, my dear. The Galaxy team even set up the survey cause so we could learn more about the Pokemon. Would you have their efforts go to waste? I understand that you're saying, but I can't just get over my fear right away. Though I guess, I guess the Survey Corps works hard out there in the wild too, even if it's scary. Okay, I'll do my best to get over my fear. I'll start by learning more about this Pokemon and uh, really getting to know it. Well, that's finally done. The next thing... Because I do believe I have a grass stone or few, so we're going to go to the diddly d, diddly da. Bring in the other pet lil, see if we can evolve it with the stone, and then actually get a look at freaking. Sorry, Gyarados. For now, you are replaced. Go and see if we have a stone. We should have a grass stone. We have tons of stones. Loads of stones. Load bearing stones just for you. Let's see. Stone, 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 stones. We have lightning stone. We got a water stone. We got here, you got sunstone. We even got an oval stone. Surely I have a grass stone. I don't want to spend my points on a grass bloody stone. Let's see. I shall look up when Pitlil evolves. When do you evolve, you bastard? Oh no, Pitlil evolves into a Lilligant, so not what we need. I thought it was. Darn. Darn. The Pokemon we're looking for yet still eludes us. Yet still eludes. 
I just saw a new grass Pokemon and assumed it's what I'm after. It is the answer to my dreams. So we can't do that, but we do have a Dusclops, or no, not Dusclops, a Duskull that we need to swap out for now so we can complete that and I'll just keep it with me, take it with me just in case. Let's see. Duskull, come with me. Oh. Hello, my dude. I have a dust skull for you. About that request you had. I think I got the Pokemon you want. Have it with me. What a hair-raising spectacle. Yes, this, I'm certain, is the Pokemon from the photo. Well, now that I've seen such a clear example of the real thing, I'd like to get a proper shot. You know, I must admit, I feel quite relieved to know that it was truly a Pokemon in the end. And a Pokemon with its own sort of charm, really. I'm glad I was able to photograph it. New options added for you. But there's still the... The legend. I want to know that. That seems so cool and awesome, but there's nothing there. Bring me back my Gyarados. Ba -da -da -da. Wrong button. Next, we're going to explore a bit of uh, the field lands, because there are obviously places we couldn't get to before, like that island, and uh, in like that bowl lake there's even a request there lol so we're gonna check there and check those islands and uh yeah that'll basically be it and then i'll probably end and maybe even take a break from this game because we have been playing it day in and day out for quite a bit but i just love it so i really like it but mainly try to fill out the, uh, take a break, fill out the Pokedex a bit. Make progress on some of the side quests. So yeah, make quest, uh, make, uh, diddly D progress on the requests, make progress on the Pokédex, just going over here to see if there's anything interesting on the islands that won't be immediately be like, oh, I saw these without, huh, hey, Palm, hey, Palm is here, hey, more Chimchar, And an Alpha Infernape. Good to know that this is where an Alpha Infernape is. A part of me kind of wants to save the uh, Alphas to being caught on stream, but I don't know. Hello, dude. What? You've got Pokemon with you? What are the odds? Fate must have backed today, bringing you here. Look, I know we just met, but would you do something for me? I'd love it if you could bring me that Pokemon. What's his name again? Well, the one with a scythe on each arm. All right. Excellent. I had a feeling you'd say that, huh? Never mind why I need it. Just bring that Pokemon to me with a scythe on each arm. Find the Pokemon scythe each arm and uh, catch one to show... I, can I just do it from here? Nope, I need to actually... Have it in my party. Okay, we're gonna go to the island, teleport back to base, come back, maybe try... Hey, that's actually a thing that we can maybe do. Because, uh, Super Alakazam is somewhere around. Oh, fuck off. I don't want to fight you! Hey. 
I just want to catch Pokemon. Why do I get to go first? Oh, uh, bulldoze this Luxray to death. You've chosen this fate. I'm here to annihilate you for your sins of being in my goddamn way while I'm looking for a big boy. Looking for a big boy. Gotta distract him, throw, and then we'll have a super psychic type on our side. Let's see. Defeat with dark type. And seen it use moves. Oop. That's stupid. Now we have to get away, because I don't want to fight it. I want to catch it. Boom. Ah, he already forgot about us. Nice. Uh, I didn't get the back strike, so it's probably not gonna work. I throw my ball anyway. We'll go to the island and then come back into a better position and see if we can try again. Oh, this must be uh, those lakes. Like Lake Umassi. Hmm. I can give you a lot of food. And probably ease my burden. You can let go of the fucking camera. Eat the food. Eat the food. I'll hit you too. Get in the ball. But yes, yeah, so this must be like one of the uh, motion lakes from Pokemon Pearl, Diamond, and Platinum. So does that mean that Azelf, mm, uh, yeah, Azelf, Muzelf, will they probably be here? Hello. <laughs> Or are they not here yet? Or are they hibernating under these rocks? It's playing good music, though. An enraged frickin' Magikarp. Will wonders never cease. Have food. You can have food. Now get in the ball. Berry. Have the berry. And get in the ball. Take the food! How hard is it to just take the food, you damn magic carp? Food. I 
I hate the fish so much. Just eat the goddamn food. Especially because I can't catch my beloved Ooze Elf or even see Ooze Elf. I Muse Elf. I keep I keep forgetting their names. Let's see. Six unreported, so we can do that mission now. Finish that up. But yeah, that the lake that the lakes are apparently in the game. At least is interesting. That the lakes are in the game implies something. Okay, we have a guy that wants a diddly dang bibbidi ba. I don't want to release. And there's the other, yeah. Gyarados can go here while we look for Scythers. Amongst my terribly organized diddly. Alright, let's go turn that guy. Give him his cypher. Then we can go and be like, Hey kid, I looked up everything about Magikarp, so I beat him up. We got a decent amount of unknown. That's always nice. We got a decent amount of unknown. We could do the... I don't... I don't want to wait for the space-time rip. They're the kind of thing that you really want to do on stream because weird things happen in them and you can get materials to do things. The problem is... that it's just like, it takes so long for them to actually form. A space-time rift distortion field is forming. And then it takes like 10 minutes for it to actually fully form. Which is aggravating. my dude. I got Scyther for you. Look at those keen blades. They'll make short work of this. You see the Ramana's roses blooming all over this island? I have to gather every last one. I've been trying to pluck all of them myself. Having this, uh, yes, Scyther's help will make things much e smoother. All the roses? They're for my wife, you see. She told me she wanted to fill our garden with these Ramanas roses. So I'm gathering every last one to fill that garden right up to the darling brim. Um, I think she just meant... What? Seriously? You don't need all of them, but you this gardener will still help. She just meant to plant some. Well, that was pretty severe misunderstanding. I'm glad you came along before I plucked every rose on this island. I'll just bring some of their seeds home for us to raise together. Take care. You kindly activate quickly. Give it just a few moments. Let's see. I need leaden balls. It's activating. There we go. Now I can get a bunch of items. Sneasels again. Okay, as many of these plates as possible to make the star thingies and make lots of money. Gather up items. At first, it's also meant to be like, ah, oh, the rare Pokemon, but uh, item, money's 
right? Pokemon I can come across every time or any day. Money. Money. Much different. If only I could convince all of these Pokemon to help me pick up these plates. I thought they would have a bit more purpose. The, the plates, but... Oh, no, not plates, but shards. Wait, is that a Weavile? Definitely want a Weavile. Poison jab this Lickitung out of here. Didn't even poison the bastard. Oh, I got smacked. Darn you. He's gained some advantage. I hate this look a ton, but maybe we can catch him. So long as they don't kill my boy. I propose. Kill you all the way up. I hate this fucking Lickitung. What a stupid asshole this Lickitung is. Now throw at you. Get in the goddamn ball, you bastard. Right, you're caught, at the very least. Don't know why you're doing so much damage, but okay, bud. Try not to kill. Oh, fuck off! What's he avoiding? Oh, and you're the one who gets poisoned. Hit him up already! Booyah, now you'll die from the poison. <laughs> what a jerk. What a jerk this Weavile is. Let's throw and try and catch him. <laughs> Asshole. Him in. False swipe him a bit. Why do you go twice? It didn't even agile and it didn't look like it. Bleh. I need to pay more attention to the order. I need to pierce into your soul which Pokemon goes next. Uh, now to wander about after we revive our dead Pokemon. Because the Weavile just decided I'm going to do tons of damage for no reason. Which is quite silly if you ask me. Did more damage. I mean, granted, it also took a lot of damage, so maybe that's just how the damage calculations play out in this world now. Really wish I could throw items from the back of this Pokemon. I personally think they should have introduced the, uh, the time distortions earlier, and maybe held off on Weird Deer a bit. May but maybe it's just because the these kind of 
the plains, the field plains, or a simple area. It's like, oh, this allows us to put in some simple Pokemon. And then the more interesting Pokemon and traversal options come later. Yeah, but then also I use Weird Ear to make an absolute mockery of the time distortion fields. For a moment I thought the time distortion was up because my camera went out the field again. I need more shards. Again, I find it hilarious that I initially thought that the shards were important, that they had to mean something. No, they're just a late game form of uh, getting tons of money. Which I personally find hilarious. I thought they're like these shards. They look like phone cases. Maybe this is where all the dead people go. No. They're just something. They're not meant to be understood. Oh, a dubious disc. I can't wait for all the... Well, I guess I can probably just look up at what a dubious disc does in other Pokemon games and I'll get the same answer of what it does in this game. That's the handy thing of this being a series. I don't think I got that many shards, and now the Alakazam is back. get that final satchel in this place. And we'll just go to the water and lose everything in the water. Sayonara, suckers. Still don't know what I'm supposed to do to get the unknown that's at the Grand Tree. Because it's like, oh, you have to scale the Grand Tree, because I tried throwing the uh, Feather Balls at the Unknown on the Grand Tree, because you can see it, but I don't think that's how they want you to catch it. Alright, we'll go back into this expedition, do whatever quests we can, <laughs> and then I don't know. got decent monies. Huzzah. But since I explored everywhere, everywhere, for the most part, I'll have a decent time doing things. No level up for me. Um, though it was darn close. Return to the village. Like, every time you go to a new area, you get a spike in experience, because you're, like, catching and doing so much. Alright, kid. I wanted to know more about Magikarp. I got your Magikarp information right here. Is Magikarp Pete's filled in yet? Tell me, tell me. Thank God I don't have to do it 100% because it doing freaking 100 splashes would take forever. I know all about Magikarp now. I'm a Magikarp professor. It's my turn to tell you something. Sanqua told me a secret. Sanqua said she made those Magikarp statues, but she said she really wanted to make Gyarados statues instead. She said that Gyarados is super strong and cool and can even fly, and that Magikarp can become Gyarados. You'll learn about Gyarados too, right, please? And I only got a rare candy for my trouble. Ah, and there's another mission.
Mr. Picture Man wants another mission from me for my next area, probably. You know how I, I showed that photo of Duskall to the children in the village, and they all shrieked of delight. Thanks again for helping me with it. In fact, I'd like to ask the help once again, if I might. Would you take a look at this? Ah, you want Nuzzly, or is it Tortwig? That looks like the Meyerland, so probably Tortwig. At first, it looks like a perfectly normal landscape shot, wouldn't you say? But take a closer look, and you start to notice something odd about the pair of leaves there in the foreground of the image. The conspicuous pair of leaves popping into the frame like that. I'm inclined to think they could be part of some Pokemon, but I've got no proof, you see. If you know a Pokemon with such leaves, would you show me to compare the photo? And we'll take a quick gander at our missions. Can't do, still doing. Uh, let's see, because I think. What does this mission want again? Find the Pokemon covered in herbs shaped like blue vines and catch one to show Risa. Tangela. This, this bitch wants Tangela. Alright, we'll swap in you. Tangela is here somewhere. Tangela. Blue vines. Oh, wait. And I think we probably got... Well, maybe. Let's see. Did I get enough to fulfill your... Since you've now gathered 40 wisps, here's a little thank you. Experience large. Find 10 more. Get a reward. Alright, show Tangela. Look and see if there's anything else. My, being a survey corps must be tough. Don't know why you're here. More old ladies have joined the core. The world is going down. Do you find the Pokemon with herbs on it? I think it's this. Just look at it! It's a solid lump of vines! And this aroma, this is the scent I remember. Yes, these are the herbs from my home. I didn't expect the Pokemon to be so absolutely covered in herbs. I mean vines. And are vines moving? I wonder what the Pokemon itself looks like under, under those. Anyway, thank you for finding it. Don't worry, I'm only going to take a little bit of your vines to use as herbs. Oh, I have an idea. If I lived with a Pokemon like you, I'd be able to enjoy this aroma every day. Hmm. Let's see. Trying to think. I guess gone astray. Fill out Octillery, fill out Machoke. Find the Pokemon of two tail fins. I thought I did. With two tail fins. I guess I'll have to look at all the Pokemon out there. Uh, then I guess we'll finish finish off by doing the Coastlands one. Coast. We go to the coast, find the person. What 
you on. I wish it would just be blue. Point me to the blue. I don't care about finding the treasure right now. I find the frog there. Why you knock me off? I'm here for treasure, you bitch. I think it's standing on the goddamn treasure. My treasure. It took so freaking long. Why would they even allow that to spawn there? Makes no bloody sense. Blue? Where's the blue? a togepi, but I don't care right now. All things considered. I kind of do. I think it ran away. Because even mega togepies are afraid of it. Blue. Blue. I want to do this quest. Blue. I want blue. Bippity boppity blue. And of course not for you there. Hitting me with all your shit. Apricorn discard. We have plenty of apricorns. Pete's blocks, I don't know what they do. Fuck her off, fuck her off. Fuck her off. Where? It says, oh, it'll do the blue. Apparently, bloody not. Deadly D. Maybe she's on Molten Arena? What? I'm not there. I'm at the base. Fuck off. I'm doing quests, Billy. Automatically be blue and lead me straight there. Bippity bobbity blue. Let me find the truth. How the bloody way? Wish that it would be like. I think it'd be like, hey, activate the blue mode. Because I don't really care about finding treasure if I can't do my bloody mission. It's the bloody tumble stone. Activate blue. Activate blue. We still can't get up there, as far as I am aware. I don't want to find treasure. I want to find the request. So would you kindly bloody go on astray? 
Find the lady. Find the lady. Find the diddly dang lady. Turn blue already. What's the point of this? Oh, I can track if it's not actually going to track. I don't care about treasure. Oh, there we fucking go. Hey, full fix. Oh, fuck off, fuck off. I want to catch this full fix. Hug her off her saluna so I can catch this full fix. Because I guess Volfix come out when it rains. Technically, that counted by not being spotted. That's weird. Okay. So she's down this away. did you even get here, lady? Oh, hey, Neon. You came to find me? I got the old heave-ho from the Machop ma Sea, and splash, it was right into the sea for me. And then I couldn't swim back to the shore on my own, so I was just stranded. So, um, please, can you help me get back home? <laughs> no problem. Guess I have to. Thanks a million for your help. Neon, I'll pay you back somehow. Oh, me, my, oh, my, the Basque Legion sure is something. It sips right through the water, and even if the weight of a person or two on its back, amazing. At least you're heading the right way this time. Okay, I'm trying to think. Because that was all to do here. Bottle, let us head home. Report to Zeke. I did things, I guess. Two new Pokemon. Just constantly whistling things down. Return to the village. Found your bloody sister, my dude. Wanda made it back home safe again. I really can't thank you enough. I knew I wouldn't be wrong to ask you again. You're still as good as everyone says you are. And that Ursa Luna is amazing too. Not many can track a scent even across rivers and seas. If I could ever learn to live with Pokemon myself, a Pokemon like that Ursa Luna sure would be nice. Yeah, a Pokemon that's great at finding things. And she's probably gonna go astray again. Isn't she? Astray again. I 
I can't do that because I need to go to the other area and it's far away. But I have lots of things that I want to sell. Well, actually, first, I'm going to see if I can make any stars myself. I can. I can only make one. Oh, well, that's more than none. Let's see. Star, star, sell the stars. 10,000. Woot woot. And with a quick no spoilers search, apparently to do the diddly dee, uh, Seas Legend, you need a book from a uh, blinding, uh, uh, blinding pearl something diamond. So I'll have to look into that, because I don't have that game. Definitely interesting since they're released side by side, to a degree. But I guess it kind of makes sense to a degree, because meh meh meh. But still kind of annoying, me not uh, only having one of the games. And I highly doubt there's anything in Pokemon Legends Arceus that holds up things for the people in the other area. Ah, huh, looks interesting. Stone portal. Stone portal. I wonder if the Reggies will appear. Is there not even going to be 200 Pokemon in this game? Be kind of a shame. I hope there's at least 200 Pokemon in the game. And let's see. We'll have to look for unknown... Honestly, since the unknown aren't really that interesting to catch, I'll probably catch them in my off time as well. Just to be like, so I can really scrutinize, because it's not really that fun watching someone just, hmm, what does this thing mean again and again and again. But still having lots of fun. Lots and lots of fun. And from the looks of things... There is only one more area to the game. Profound sad news. Unless there's surprise area. Which is entirely possible and they move the UI around. Because who knows, maybe the Obsidian Fieldlands was in the middle. I'll have to look at the footage again. Run the footage back from episode one to see where the Obsidian Fieldlands was on the Pokedex cover before. But more than likely, this next area will be the final area. Profound sadness that we're coming to the end of the game. Well, end of the game. There could be diddly D. But for that, I guess, I guess, that will be it for now. I might take a small break tomorrow, play in my own time, try and do things, look where Cherim frickin' is, and other such things, see if I can find the Seas Legend book. Because if the Seas Legend is a book, then surely you should be out there somewhere. Hmm. Alright. Apparently you need a Buzel, a Mantike, and a specific Quillfish to be able to do the Sees legend. So we'll have to see. Once again. Wait, I'm really loving this game. I love the little things. I love the music. Wish that some of the music would play through the combat. But what do you know? Again, I think the distortion rifts take a bit too long to form. Considering that this is a single player game. <laughs> Maybe again. Could be because like, ah, oh, we don't know. People might not be able to efficiently get there. And I kind of almost want the 
almost want the distortion rifts to be scarier and more threatening. I kind of wish that Ray has been in the story more, but blah, blah, blah. But yeah, basically, I'll just go... Well, actually... Do, 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 do. Hmm. I'm trying to think quickly. Because I kind of want to go and see if I can level up. All right, we're gonna go to the Crimson Mylands. We're gonna catch a few Pokemon, see if we can level up and just get that out of the way. Just so that I don't have to be like, oh no, I can't do much because text will happen. So yeah, we're gonna go Crimson Mylands, craft more Pokeballs. Just to catch some Pokemon of various amounts. And uh, hopefully... Well, that won't work, will it? Catching Pokemon doesn't do it, I think. It's completing sections of the Pokedex. And other such shenaniganry. Twenty... Twenty-one... Yeah, basically com doing things, catching new Pokemon, which we should be able to do over at the new area that we can access. I want to oh, I can. Yay. already completed, but we could defeat you again. Another question is, who do I want to beat you with? Ah, I still have this bloody bastard. Fight me. Bulldoze the jerk. Progress, gives experience, getting new Pokemon, gives experience. You know, see if we can catch, like, I don't know, a Toxic Croak or something. Ah, Golduck might work. Well, we're gonna have to fight you now. Beating you, capturing one of you. Charge beam it. Right to the dick. How dare you live. Get it. <laughs> Didn't get the back strike. Hope it still works. Yay. Oh, Jesus Christ, that is a leveled-up starter. That is a Torterra. This seems to be Island of the Giant Fuck-Off Pokemon. Lagoon should still be here. Hmm. Catch without being spotted is still on the list. Feed, catch. Oh. 
my main. What level are you? Level 50. So that's not going to be good. Ah, you powerful against everything. Or a sphere. Speed it down as much as possible. Ha. Ah. annoying that you went twice even though I know that time that you did not have two. You didn't do an agile attack. Screw you. That definitely needs refining in my opinion. That's annoying. Get in the fucking ball, Billy. Get in the fucking ball. Once again, poison types are bullshit. I don't want to freaking kill him, so. A little bit of a charge beam. That did really, really little. Get in the fucking balls, Lagoo. Damn you! Get in the fucking ball! Get in the ball, Billy. He's just doing everything to get in the ball. Ice. Please don't kill. Get in the goddamn ball. Finally, even though most of my team didn't get to see the experience. Oh, I haven't made many, uh, Revives. Bibbidi bee. Go back to me. Wait. Still don't know why I can't even look at the goddamn things. Get in the ball. Get in the ball! Slight increases. Guess we can go try our hand at the top of the throat. Perhaps. Mm, just more gold ducks. Hmm, so. Come to think of it, let's see if I can make any revives. I can make some revives. One revive, to be precise. Not all that useful. See if we can close in on a a croak to grab and hopefully I know there's normal toxic croak wandering about somewhere it's on the bloody island of course you saw me the stealth system needs an update I want to be solid snake in here I need to actually be able to 
search me out and not just get it for free. They have to earn finding me. God, it doesn't help that my main mode of freaking transportation draws all their attention from five billion miles away. That's kind of stupid. Oh, fuck off. I want to sneak up on the bastards. But it's just like, oh, sorry, you can't. Because they're just going to see you anyway. And getting through there quickly and cutting through the middle. Sorry, you can't do that either because they're like, oh. You're over there! Give me a stealth mech at this rate. Hmm, cuz I'm not sure. I'll bring the boy back. We shall destroy some of these small children Pokemon for the science. Goodbye, little one. Ah, he can finally evolve. So that's at least something. Ooh, which means a new another new Pokemon will be added as top. Still a lovely evolution stream. All right, with all that diddly done, let's see if we. Oh, I'm not being targeted. At least I wasn't. There was no icon there before. Screw you, game. When I opened my map, there wasn't there, because I just finished a battle. Which means that they shouldn't have been able to target me anyway, because I was just got out of a battle, and they weren't in the battle, and will you fuck off? That lasts way too long when you're super far away. <laughs> but I suppose they don't want you to just super cheese. Be like, ah, I'll just run away really fast. So I guess it makes sense, but it's still annoying. God dang it. Nope. Hmm. No, I don't think we'll be able to do it, which... Hmm. Oh well. I guess that just means that I can just not talk to Celine If I get enough points in the... While doing my own thing. Dibbity dee. Dibbity dee, dibbity day. Coop de woo de woo de way. Let's talk to people, see if. I haven't talked to that guy in a while. So basically, just more of the fungus and things. What thing today? Honey cake set. No, thank you. We'll do the f one more bag upgrade, and then that will be that. A lot has happened, and I've lost track of it all. We went and <laughs> ran into the Misfortune Trio again. Jesus Christ, you never run out, do you? Because a lord died, we went there, and it was an Arcanine Lord. And then the, we had to go catch a Dusclops and all that, so that we could actually swim to the place. A lot of things happened. Oh yeah, because you're, uh, you're unconscious. I think that you can actually bring out your fainted Pokémon. And I guess I shall rest to heal my Pokémon before I forget and go into the wild and die. But yeah, a lot happened. A 
Lalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalal
this will allow me to like enjoy the game a bit <laughs> a bit differently look for uh, unknown on my own look for things because I think because uh, I should have a buzel I should have a mantike I just need to we can begin the next time I play Legends Arceus looking for that giant quillfish somewhere out there in the world. But I do believe that should do it for now. In the meantime, I'll probably go more when I play on my own. Just grab more Pokemon, maybe level up Pokemon, fill out the Pokedex a bit. Try and get to the point that some missions can be done, but not finish them and just do them on stream. Look for unknowns on my own, and then maybe save... Like, especially because I'm not going to be going to the next area yet. Save the next area. For its own thing. But, yeah, so that will do it for now. I have been Neon Icy Wings. This has been more Pokemon Legends Arceus. If you want more from me, I have an edited content YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings, that I post to once in a billion years. I also have an archive channel where you can watch the various streams that I've done in the past from my Twitch channel. So if you want to watch me play Undertale, Pokemon Yellow, and uh, eventually my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team videos will go up months in advance, because that's what happens when you post every two days, except for Pokemon Legends Arceus, because it's just like, ah, this is a big thing. Put it up anyway. Ah, algorithms. Yes, Neon Icy Games is that YouTube channel. You can watch all those stream VODs and archives there. If you're one of those people that are already watching one of those archives, you can watch me play these games live on Neon Icy, Ga uh, Neon Icy Games, Neon Icy Wings, uh, twitch.tv. If you want other things from me, I also try to draw, but I am horrible at managing my time. I need to draw more. And you can see me draw things on Twitter and Newgrounds, DeviantArt, and this newfangled site, Buzzly.art or something. It's weird. Uh, all at Neon Icy Wings. And then my Tumblr, my art Tumblr, will be Icy Wings Art Corner. Yes. Wahaha. <laughs> But yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye.